Hey everybody, Nate Wolf here with a quick public service announcement before the start of this week's show. Every once in a while, someone lets loose a... Or a... And usually, our friendly Murloc sidekicks edit things out for us, but this week's guest was especially enthusiastic, and rather than spending the entire weekend editing the show, we're slapping a parental advisory explicit content warning on it instead. Thanks, and beware of colorful language. Hold on to your mug. We're in for a wild night. Traveler. <laughs> welcome, 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 everybody, to episode fifty of Born to Be Wild, a wild exclusive Hearthstone podcast where we have fun hanging out with friends, talking about the wild format of Hearthstone and spotlighting members of the wild community. Uh, I'm your host, Nate Wolf. It's good to be here on another great Friday night. Hey, everybody. This is Hydralisk, and I'm stoked. It's Friday. This is my all-time favorite night of the week to chill with all you guys. I'm, I'm super stoked for the show. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Black Rot, in the building. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing good tonight. We got a uh, special guest in the building. Uh, I guess we're doing this thing where we're bringing back old guests, but uh, I can't say we because I wasn't there, so... Yeah, this one's really cool because I believe um, Dr. Evil special guest the week before I came. Um, really special guest tonight. Multi-time legend, high legend player, wild and standard. will bust your head open. First in our listener series, love our guest tonight, Dr. Evil. Everybody, round of applause. Welcome to Oh my God. You're <laughs> so, so ridiculous. Well, <laughs> welcome, welcome to the show. Yeah, welcome back. Thank you. I'm so happy to be back. So last time we were talking about this right before the show started and we yeah. we looked it up and last time we had you on was episode 15, June 21st of 2020. So I know. Um, 15? almost a year ago and uh, it was it was Craig's last episode and so much has changed. Uh, we're really excited to have you back. Yeah, it's super cool. Like I had no idea it had been that long since I was on last time and it's that was episode 15 and y'all said this is episode 50 now right yeah yep. this has come this podcast i feel like has come such a long way and i'm so happy because i feel like all the cool people in wild are in the born to be wild like discord and like so it's super awesome and i'm so happy i can Appreciate be back it. again Yay! We, we, Yay! we've tried to kind of switch it around a little bit i think we sort of have come into our own a little bit and realized hey it's a different crew maybe we do things a little bit different and we've been kind of experimenting with different things over the last couple months and I, i'm happy i'm really happy with where it's at and i love these guys so this is this is a lot of fun people yep <laughs> yep 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 hey so for people who are watching the show or listening to the show later who may not be familiar with you can you tell us a little bit about yourself like as much or as little as you're willing to share but who's dr yeah. evil um that's me <laughs> um yeah so I'm Dr. Evil, or you might know me as Taylor E, whatever. You can call me whatever you want. Um, but I've been around since Wild literally existed. Um, always been my favorite format ever since Hearthstone split into, like, Standard and Wild. I've always been there. Um, it's always been my thing. But anyway, um, I am a part-time, like, occasional streamer whenever I feel like it. And I usually hit Legend... Mostly every month with wild, um, depending on how I'm how I'm feeling. But um, yeah, um, I've always been a part of the wild community, and I really love the game, and it brings joy to my life. As corny as that sounds, because if I didn't have Hearthstone, I don't know what the, what the hell else I would do oh, with my free time. <laughs> I like it. I love watching your streams. I love when you get angry at people. It's just so funny. It's, um, it's great. Yeah, it's beautiful. I... With the classical music, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Streamer rages with classical music as background. I was I was yes. watching you. It's, it's funny that Mike points that out because I was watching you the other day. I think you were testing some decks or whatever. And my wife walks in the room. She's like, what are you listening to? Because it's <laughs> literally classical music with a woman cursing over it. <laughs> 
I'm so sorry. Like, I love that kind of music, but I also get very mad at Harson sometimes. So I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it was, it was good. That's great. Yeah. I had never heard uh, Super Mario classical version until I'd watched your stream. It's pretty good. You're welcome. It was great. It's such an eclectic mix. It's Super Mario, and then it's Eminem, and then it's, uh, <laughs> you know, back to some, and then there's some Kingdom Hearts thrown in there. Yeah, if you want to, like, learn, like, some really, or listen to some really cool, like, piano songs of your favorite songs, you can check my stream out. Hey, there you go. That's, that's it a might, good It might blow your mind. Yep. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I was wondering, I was I was listening to actually the last episode when, when you were on before, and you had talked about how you really liked climbing the ladder with your custom decks yeah. instead of, you know, just copy paste sort of thing. Yeah. And what I was really wondering was where where do you start? Like when you just want to play something fun and you want to see if you can ladder up with it, like do you just get like a really cool idea in your head and build on that? Or like when, you, when you're building a fun deck, like where do you begin? What's, what's your, your process on that? I mean, I don't really have that much process. I literally like take the cards that I like and I shove them in a deck and I add some other good cards and I pray that it works. <laughs> <laughs> so it's more <laughs> really like, is like not no, scientist as I thought. <laughs> yeah, there is literally no like big brain thought process behind it it's just like i like this card i like this card i just click them and i add them and i'm like all right let's try it out <laughs> and then and then I'll, i might play a few games with it and be like okay well this card sucks let me take this out and try it with something different kind of like that i mean really i don't know what is your <laughs> what is your signature deck oh god we have to say this again <laughs> <laughs> i can say it for you i mean <laughs> I don't want to say no, it. We need, we need, no, we need the sound bite. <laughs> What's the sound bite? Of you saying the deck name. Yeah, you're no. going to give it to us. Oh, oh my God. Can't. That's too much pressure. Okay. <laughs> my favorite deck in all of Hearthstone, and you can call me whatever you want, I don't care, is Reno Nazad Shutterwalk Shaman. And it is the greediest deck, but it is so much fun to play for me. <laughs> And I don't, I don't care what you think about it. I freaking love it. And I'm so sad because I can't play it anymore, really, because Ticketus is a card. And so I just auto lose to like control Warlock. <laughs> That's mm. funny. Hey, you know what, though? It's good timing. I, I have hit 1K with almost all of the classes except Shaman and, and Warrior and, of course, Demon Hunter. But And so I spent the last uh, week or so playing Shaman decks trying to figure out something i just need wins i just need like 150 wins so maybe it's time to to dust off the shutter walk again i mean you can play even shaman i literally queued into people at like rank two that are playing even shaman right now and they won of course hey well there it's, you pro go. it's probably not good right now they beat me <laughs> i so, was um Oh, go for it. Go for it. Oh, I was just going to say, uh, no, you know, nothing major, but I was thinking, you know, maybe when this core set comes out, it looks like even Shaman does get a tiny, tiny buff. So it looks like, uh, what is it? The one that um, gets plus one plus one for all your um, totems got an extra health point and uh, the fire elemental does four damage now. So I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe that would be a good deck to play. Yeah, maybe maybe mid range sort of tempo -y even Shaman. No totems. I don't like the totems. So oh, I'd, I'd give that a shot. I loved even Shaman when even Shaman was first to deck. That was awesome. I went on some insane win streak with it, and I'd I'd play that again. I do have a question about your your Reno Shutter Walk Shaman. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm I'm guessing you've tried because Ticketus is a thing, right? Yeah. What if you just I mean it would suck, but you could run some disruption or whatever, like that new Vulgin. Oh, yeah, that would be pretty spicy. And then it would trigger again with Shutterwalk. It would trigger again with Shutterwalk. Yeah, I actually just got that legendary, too. I might actually try that out. <laughs> Why not? Uh, it, it, it could work. It just crossed my mind. That might be a good one. And actually, to be fair, I, I was listening to the Squelch podcast today where they said, one of them had said that they actually used that against the Ticketus Warlock and it hmm. worked. Really? Yeah. 
So I cannot take credit for the idea. Well, thank as you big, for letting as, me know. <laughs> as big brain as it sounded, wouldn't be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, Mike, um, oh, go yeah. ahead. Oh, it's like right, guys, we're thinking at the same time. Yeah, so let me jump in there. Um, Dr. Eva, how are you doing tonight? I'm great. How are you, Mike? I'm doing fantastic. I'm really excited that you're here. Um, I just want to apologize that I didn't actually introduce this correctly. Um, this is our first what? show in March. No, I just want to apologize that, um, that I, I didn't introduce this correctly because this is our first show in March. So um, we're looking to celebrate uh, Women's History Month. So I just want to thank you for being our first guest. Oh, and, um, yeah. Just kind of, you know, educate people that uh, Women's History Month, you know, honors and celebrates the achievements and struggles of American women in this country. So um, I just want to ask, uh, how, how has it been working in the career field that you're in? Do you find it harder than other career fields you've been in? I just wanted to hear what it's like from, <laughs> your, from you yourself. Oh, uh, God. Yeah. It- All right. So, yeah. For those of you who don't really know me or follow me or know anything about me, I'm actually a dentist in real life. And I've been a dentist around for about three years now, I think. Yeah. And um, I'm actually, like, pretty super young to be a dentist. I'm only 28. I finished dental school whenever I was 25. And so, you know, they, mo- most people, like, consider dentistry as, like, you know, like a, a men's occupation, a male occupation. Um, and it's been like that for a long time. It's only been, like, until pretty recently like, now the dental schools are mostly, like, pretty divided, like, half female, half male, which I think is awesome. But, um, yeah, it, it, it can suck sometimes, because, like, at my old job, I would go up to patients and be like, hi, I'm Dr. So-and-so. And then they would just look at me and be <laughs> like, like, mm-hmm. pretty much, like, I could see their eyeballs go from, like, my head to my toe, back up to my head. <laughs> and they... I could just like yeah, I knew what they were thinking. Yeah. They're probably like, "Uh, this young girl is my dentist." What? And so yeah, I I feel like I've been, um, kind of, I guess I don't want to say victimized, but I've been, you know, judged. I guess for being a, I guess a woman in what's mostly considered a men's career. And at mm-hmm. first, it really hurt my feelings, but now I don't give a shit because I know I'm awesome at my job. And if you don't like me, you can. GTFO. <laughs> you can have two pain. Love it. So thank you for answering that question. I know it's vulnerable and I didn't give you a heads up on it. Um <laughs> I just fine. I should have, but I just wanted to ask that because I think that we should use this platform. Um because that's what March represents. So thank you for um accepting it. And if you're mad at me, you can just tell me later. I'm no not mad. I'm not <laughs> mad, I promise. Now have you accidentally introduced yourself as Dr. Evil? No. <laughs> Oh, oh. Hi, I'm Dr. Evil. And I'm going to be your dentist today. <laughs> you ready to pull those teeth? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that one day. I don't know. I'll let you know if it ever you'll do it by mistake that's really funny i'm like oh fuck shit no that's that's my <laughs> that's my online name my man <laughs> oh my god that's so funny no i was telling these i was telling these guys over the past week right we we start out the show all the time craig started it and then i introduce it now and it's every time we start the show welcome 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 and i have to lead um like a zoom meeting at work over the past week and this is for like people from the mayor's office and city council and the police department and all this. And I started out the meeting and it's like, it is so hard to not say welcome, welcome, welcome to another. It's like, <laughs> oh God, it's uh, like, hey, everybody. Uh, what, what, why are you? Know? <laughs> yeah. You know, weren't you typing up some document for the city and you typed something like Harson related because we were talking about it? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> What did you type? I don't remember. I was working on our I was working on our um annual budget. budget. <laughs> yeah, and I have to do a narrative. So it says like how I justify the spending for our department and why do I want what I want and and kind of track what we've, you know, the history and what we've been up to over the past year. And I have multiple monitors and I thought I was on one document and I was accidentally in the other one and I started typing Hearthstone and I had to go find it and delete it. (laughs) Oh my gosh. 
That's too funny. Dear. Yeah, yeah. Actually, so, I did that in Discord today. It's funny. It's uh, that brain, you know, divided attention thing. <laughs> Oops. So, hey, what is it? Oh, go ahead. <laughs> oh, I was just going to say, hey, what is it about Wild that you prefer over Standard? Me? Yeah. Are you kidding me? You can play all the cards. <laughs> the literal obvious question. Yes. <laughs> Some people dust them. Well, that's their problem, not mine. I like playing with all the cards. <laughs> no, you but be, uh, for real. Yeah, that's why. You yeah. should be in there. I, I type it to people all the time when I see them ask on Hearthpone or any other forum. Hey, should I dust all my cards on rotation? No. I'm like, no! Don't yeah. do it. You'll regret it, man. You will regret it. I'm even regretting... I'm I'm working on my collection currently, and there's cards I've dusted in the past that I'm like, why did I do that? And so, like, I'm kind of rebuilding some stuff I've gotten rid of. You're probably hungry, struggling. Like, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Man, I, I could dust this. I'll, I'll come back to it. Like, <laughs> I've yeah. been there. Yeah, and it's like, okay, so you dusted it for a legendary for 400 dust, and then you're recrafting it like a year later <laughs> for its full value, and you're like, oh, man. Oh, I'm hey, guilty that, of that. The price of pay is dirty dusters, you know? <laughs> okay, dirty duster. <laughs> no, I, I, I do not dust anymore. I don't I don't dust anything unless it's extra. An extra I've card. probably from this wild tournament, I have probably dusted the most cards I ever have ever playing Hearthstone. Trying to make these like decks for these deck building challenges. It feels so bad. Are they at least like useless? Sort of like, yeah, I'll never Yeah, use kinda. It, like, Plains Kinda. Rider, Beast. It still, it still feels bad, though. <laughs> feels bad. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, well. I'm trying to think if I had any... Like, I really do admire your... See, I, I, I would like to have uh, your brain when it comes to deck building. I really, really appreciate how you can just go and you can have fun with the game and be not content with just being competitive and trying to like rank up with like the best of the decks and be you know piloting them and like i really like that deck building ability that you have you may simplify and say that you're just kind of throwing in fun cards but i don't pride myself as an amazing deck builder so i that's something that i really do appreciate yeah it's actually funny because um i was talking about this earlier to somebody um so this week in the tournament i'm actually playing against a wild card so i had to message him on discord right to like set up our match time and whenever i messaged him i saw that my last message to him was from october 4th like 2018 and that was oh, yeah. when <laughs> into the wild was a thing yeah. yeah and that's when we were playing the into the wild tournament and i had to send him my deck list and I'm looking at my deck list right now, and I'm like, holy shit, did I play some meme stuff. So the first deck I brought was Luna Reno Casino Pocket Galaxy Mage. Wow, wow. <laughs> and literally the whole deck is nothing but, like, spells, legendaries, and Luna, which makes all of them cost one. But hey, you won, right? <laughs> yeah, and then the, the second deck I brought was quest reno benedictus priest wow so you just take their deck and then the third deck was the charging shutterwalk shaman where oh. you just made a bunch of shutterwalks and gave them charge and killed them. <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like i'm looking at these decks and then i'm like thinking about the decks i'm playing now in the tournament and i'm like what the fuck was i thinking <laughs> this just looks so bad <laughs> But it was fun. But I, I, her sounds changed so much. But yes, it was very fun. Well, yeah. But the crazy thing is, like, you won with I all did that win. stuff. Yeah, that, I did win. <laughs> so that's incredible. And you know what? You can't. Like, who could ever play around something like that? You know? You just, you, yeah, you just can't. <laughs> no. Uh, no, I, I played against uh, Taylor in that uh, tournament. Uh, I'm not sure what, what week it was. I went. I lost every week. <laughs> but playing against Taylor, it was it was the best week because it was zero and three. She made it very swift. I'm pretty sure it was like <laughs> fifteen minute fifteen minute segment. It was just very quick. Like 
<laughs> watched my TV show, hopped online, quick handshake. Hi, good game. Back to my right. TV show. So <laughs> I was like, wow, oh, I'm, not, no. I was like, I'm never going to get a win this this season. But I'm, I'm not joking. Like that, you you were on fire that season. I don't know who who made you mad, who pissed you off. But <laughs> Nobody. You know what? It's crazy, the same. Man. It's the same this season, though. I mean, yo, seriously, yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what's happening. Mm-hmm. It it blows my mind because I I have like zero confidence in myself, and I'm just like, how the fuck do I keep winning? I don't understand what's happening. It's just good. <laughs> yeah. You're just good. You, you, you said it earlier. Um, you're trying to downplay it, but you shouldn't. Like you said, it, it brings you a sense of joy and happiness. So I used to play basketball um different levels, but like it was different. Like playing basketball, you just get to zone out, be on the court, and you don't think about like real life and other stuff. So mm-hmm. I feel like that could be like the same, maybe the same high or euphoria or whatever term. I'm not yeah. uh I'm not a medical professional like you <laughs> terminology, so I just talked off the cuff, but it could just be that you're in a zone, zoned out, and whoever your opponent is, watch out, yo. Like, <laughs> wild card. But, uh, if he's here, yeah. <laughs> no, he's, gonna, he's gonna he's gonna make up for that last season of Into the Wild. Come huh. back and wreck me. I don't know. You I'm scared. <laughs> you stomped me a couple weeks ago. It was crazy because we ended up with like yes, we brought the same three decks. I shit you not. Wait, what? It was like it wasn't card for card but it was like almost it was all of so our decks close, were yeah. almost identical that's crazy yeah is that the whole great minds think alike and we literally said that at the same time <laughs> <laughs> we were like great minds think alike great minds think alike and i'm like what the fuck is happening <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> yeah we had a little mind meld it was it was crazy awesome, man. it's like nate stop no, copying it's, me it's cool have stop copying me stop copying me <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say, um, no, it's cool to have Taylor here. Good influence. There was like a month where, um, there it was a few months where I was I was hitting legend consistently, like in the first day or two. Yeah, you were then, killing it back then. But there was a, a month where I, I purposely wanted to chill, and then just chilling, mind my own business, man. And then boom, <laughs> who sends me a message? Doctor Evil, why aren't you legend yet? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> my question, my question mark. I'm like, yo, man. Like, why is this expected of me? <laughs> Ice cold. I'm sorry, Mike. No, 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 no. It, here's, it, that's, it's a good story. So, so right? <laughs> so, all right. Obviously motivated. Can't grasp myself in front of Taylor. Boom. Get legend, right? The, the next month, uh, we queue, in, queue into, we queue into each other a couple of times. And, like, the second, like, when I see her, boom. I, I instantly concede. I'm like, I'm not playing against her. It's, 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 it's a little joke. It's just a joke. It's, nothing, it's just a joke. So then, so then, I don't know. So that, so then, I get into legend using like some like a, like a priest or whatever, and then she talked so much trash about secret mage. I never expected this. I'm in legend messenger. Yo, I hit legend, dusted off. She said nothing, and then somehow I cute into her. We're both in legend. I see her rank. I see my rank. Tell me why she's playing Secret Mage. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I've seen you for a week. Say Secret Mage is bad. You hate it. <laughs> like it's a legend. You're playing Secret Mage. I'm like, yo, this is too funny. <laughs> Taylor, you must have forgot to go into offline mode. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually never used offline. TBH. No, was... <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mike. No, 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 no. I, I say it all, all in fun. No, it's all good. Like it, it's all good time. No, it, it, it's fun. I have fun with it, man. It's all good. Because you, you you know who the real jerks are, like the ones who, doo-doo. a recent opponent like to be your friend. Yeah, oh, here we go. Like those are the real jerks. So it's all yeah. good. Yeah, we've been friends for years. It's all uh, good, man. That's I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Well, let's let's see what everybody's been up to this week in either in Hearthstone and life. Nate, Nate, what have you been up to? What's going on? Yeah, it's been a long week here. I so here's what happened for me this week was. Um, I so I got a new desk. Uh, I got a new desk over the past week. It I was all excited because it was supposed to come on Tuesday, and it got delayed. It showed up on Wednesday, and um, I, I you know I was all excited. I got home from work. Uh, I we had this old dolly, hadn't used it in ages. I have a we're in a townhouse, and so it's like a three story unit. It's it's not a big place, but it's it's like pretty compact, but it's tall, and so. Um, I got, I got this thing on the dolly, realized that the dolly, like the wheels are flat. And so I try to inflate them. It wasn't working. And so I'm dragging this thing up two flights of stairs 
uh, on a dolly with with old <laughs> empty tires and uh, <laughs> and I, I you know I managed to to lug it up here and got up the next morning my entire body hurts like just realized that hey you know I still feel like I'm 20 but I can't do the 20 year old stuff anymore <laughs> like. I can't do all, I can't pull all nighters anymore. And I lift heavy stuff and then everything hurts and uh, <laughs> look in the mirror and my hair is gray. Like what's going on? I, <laughs> I guess that happens, but, um, but yeah, it's cool. I got uh, the desk set up. I got, uh, so hopefully some cool stuff for the show incoming. Um, I hooked up a, a stream deck, hooked up a mixer have no idea how to use either of them <laughs> so hopefully by next week uh the idea is to start using some transitions and sound effects and and cool things and be able to do them like at one touch instead of having to like manually do everything anymore uh but yeah it's been cool i've been playing some um i've been playing some shaman you know i did a stream on monday night um and it was cool just uh jammed some it was when the, whenever the ladder reset, I think it was Monday and did a little bit of co-op with blue train, built some big shaman, just trying to plug away at those wins towards the one K and um, yeah, it's getting there. Uh, the book of heroes thing came out. We can talk about it later, but I, I jammed through that. It was, um, it was definitely uh, more difficult than the other ones that I've done, but yeah, I mean, all in all, it's a pretty cool week. It's exciting to have kind of a, a new setup. I've got three monitors, and I'm confused now because I'm I don't know whether to look right or left or straight or what. It, it's it's just different than what I'm used to, but it's exciting. It's cool. So, anyways, yeah, no, I'm doing well though. I'm happy that it's Friday. Thank God, I'm ready to like re recharge over the weekend. I finally figured out how the heck you're actually supposed to play Death Stranding and got a lot farther in the story and it's really good and I, oh maybe I'm, you'll have to tell me because maybe i'm doing it wrong yeah <laughs> um yeah it, it i started playing it on the computer and i was all confused and i got frustrated and then i kind of realized oh maybe i'm doing this wrong ended up picking it up on the playstation because it's like 20 bucks and um and started playing it on the on the playstation instead played it like a different style worked out super well and now i've i've made some pretty good progress in the game and the story's really good it really starts to pick up so i'm um, i'm excited about that also the listener series has been a blast but we can talk about that later too um anyways yeah that's me uh mike what have you been up to this week hey yeah so um i've been playing way way too much uh nintendo switch but it's all good um <laughs> I've been getting deep into um, some hybrid warriors. Uh, that game is pretty fun. Every, uh, I don't know, every like 15, 20 minutes or so, like we unlock or discover a new character. And I'm just like, how many characters are in this damn game? Like, it's crazy. Because <laughs> looking at the cover art, I think it just shows like four of them. And it's like, you know, you can play with friends, play co op or whatever. So I didn't think there'd be like 18 to 20 characters. It's crazy. Have any, have any of you played this game? Um, Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity. No, yeah, what style of game is it? I keep seeing it, and we've played a bunch of the Zelda stuff, but not that one. Yeah, so this is this is kind of different from other Zelda games. Um, it's built like Dynasty Warriors. Are you familiar with that? Mm, not really. All right. Um, it's like hack and slash. Uh, it'll send waves of mini guys at you. And your basic attacks can like attack waves of them, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of the crowds will have one boss that you gotta chop down. Um, it's a pretty fun game. It's different from Zelda other other Zelda games. Um I don't know, if you ever get it, it's worth a try. Um you can play with your son or the wife. With cool. Friend, anybody. Yeah, it's like I'm doing a commercial. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from that, um I've been playing some I thought it was meme decks, some joke decks and uh but I just kept picking up. And so I uh, I think I had one. I was guided this morning into Diamond. Um, nice. But uh, it's it's actually that deck I submitted earlier. Uh, we'll talk about it later. Okay. Cool. But um, what else have I been playing this week? Um, yeah, honestly, I just been spent a lot of time playing Hyrule Warriors and um, working from home. Uh, that's pretty cool. Doing Zoom calls uh, instead of going into a physical, you know, brick and mortar. At the beginning of the pandemic, uh, I will say it was very rough for me. 
I uh, actually just recently changed a month and a half ago. So it's been rough the entire time. Not going to front, you know what I'm saying? But things are slowly starting to change. So I'm really enjoying things. Um, I'm liking being on the podcast, of course. Uh, eight months, you said, was the last time Taylor was here. So it's been <laughs> almost as long as me and Hydra have been here. So yeah, man. it's crazy like how much like drama, I shouldn't do air quotes, like drama has been going on in real life. But mm-hmm. I've been able to understand in real life, like, and this is where I'll end it. You can focus on the drama that's happening to you, but, like, real life is still going to happen. So, like, I could have sidestepped and be like, you know what, Nate, like, I got to take care of this stuff. But then I'd be watching the podcast keep going and me wanting to do it, but then not be a part of it. So then I just found this way to, like, you know what, like, got to compartmentalize and learn how to, like, manage uh, different things in your life. And, like, I just find a way to make this work every Friday. So... I'm glad, I'm glad to like to have this community and be a part of it. So it's really cool, man. So I'm glad. Oh, well, we love having you. I, I love having you on the show. It's great. And I like that, you know, we got a lot of different perspectives and stuff and, and it's, it's been a blast. I love having you on the show. So um, it, it's crazy though. It's been, uh, yeah. Looking back, I'm sitting here was looking at when Taylor was on and we, she was episode 15 and then we had you on two weeks later on this <laughs> episode 17. 17? Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't know. I, was, I forgot about that one. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. that Hydralis was there, right? You were there. No, I think, no? I, think I was. I was right after I came on as a temporary guest host. The episode after uh, you were on, I came on, and yeah, and I I did uh, a couple guest hosts, and then uh, I was also guest hosting gotcha. the episode Mike was on, and then <laughs> and then just got to stay on, which was cool. So. He just showed up one day and then he wouldn't go away. <laughs> Get away, I just, yeah, I just I moved my stuff in and I didn't leave. <laughs> it, it seriously was just because Corbett canceled one time and I was like, <laughs> slid in there. Uh, hey. Has he ever been on the show? Yeah, 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 yeah. We had Corbett yeah. on. Um, okay. Say because if he hasn't, that he'd be really good. Yeah, he, he was on, but then he he couldn't do the gameplay section yeah. that was going to happen, and then so I was like, I'll do it. <laughs> watch me <laughs> it's you know i love having there's so many cool people that are outside of the u.s and it's always fun to have them on the show uh, oh, and, but man. the the timing is always really difficult to line up yeah. like it's hard enough here right because hydra and i are west coast you're central right and mike is on yeah. the east coast and uh and even like lining up everybody's schedule it, things get a little bit funky but when we're talking about people who are like seven eight hours ahead yeah. of us it's like oh man and I remember even well, like we had when we had Smudge on to talk about Kingsbane, Bane, she's off in UK. And I think it was, I don't know, it was like two or three in the morning where she was at. Jeez. And we had offered like, hey, do you want us to do the show on a um, on a different day or a different time or something? She's like, no, it's cool. I'll do it. I'll stay up all night. <laughs> so, For real. The, yeah, uh, she said she made some tea, she had tea on the stove ready to go or something like God. she was ready to go, man. Like that showed That's me like she color. has like she has passion, man. She like prepared for the show. Like she set her whole life around it. Like <laughs> stayed up all night, made some tea. Oh man. Nate, that goes <laughs> so back cool. to the old man things. Like I cannot stay up that late anymore. I'm glad I'm not alone in that. I mean I would have passed out on the show. Legit just head <laughs> hit, hit the desk. All right. You wouldn't hear from me again. I remember watching the stream one time and you're like, Hey, I'll be right back. And then, you know, oh, God. five minutes goes by, 10 minutes goes by, 30 minutes Where's goes Taylor? by. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, She's yeah, so I'm not going to lie. I would stream late and I would get tired and I would like lay on my couch and just while the stream is. I don't do that anymore, okay? That was, <laughs> that was a rookie move. I'm sorry. I apologize to any of you that had to witness or nah, live through that you know what but no, you know what? i'm no, not no, perfect no, no, no. i, I you. fucked I up it happens to the best of us no mike Taylor, leaves too you. all the time during his stream yo, yo. <laughs> like, i put texted everybody mike here. one time i'll say are you okay <laughs> let me put everybody here on game it is not a problem you want to know why because there are people out there who purposely set up sleep streams and they're <laughs> making money while they while they're I sleeping I thought you could get so people who want to knock people. Oh, your stream is on. You went to sleep. Yo, I'm really upset that I didn't set up like donations while I'm sleeping. You know what I'm saying? Like, people put <laughs> sleep stream in their title and they're making money here's off my, it. Here's so, my like, tip jar. I'll be so right back. But if any of my mods come through my stream and I'm sleeping, yo, just change my title. Oh, sleep stream. Boom. People will come through. <laughs> change the category. Put me on just chatting. 
and we'll make some money. Let's go. Oh my gosh. That's a great it's idea. It's thanks, a real Mike. thing. You guys, are, you guys are laughing, oh, but it's a real thing. Come on, Bob, making that money. No, no, I, I'll be money. honest with you. I never. I'm going to do that tonight. Hey, there you go. Tune in. Tune in after the podcast. Just chatting. Sleep Just chatting category. I never, never seen that. that is insane. I never knew Real what that thing. meant. Like I seen that, but I thought it was like, like you set the video camera on you sleeping, and I was like, that's kind of creepy. I think I'm not gonna watch that. Like, you know? <laughs> hey, I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just letting you know that there's thousands of people doing it, making money. I'm just telling I, you what I they're doing. Like, I feel like I could leave my camera in my game room with my pugs, and they could just watch my four pugs while I'm in the next room sleeping and make. Money. That's, hey, you never know. I bet you people would watch yeah. Shiro, so that would be quality content. You know, you go to I work. Go just chatting right now on Twitch, I'm telling you. People, <laughs> I'm telling you. So you know, sometimes people you 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 go to work and you have the baby cam set up at home so you can watch your pets and see what they do when you're at work. Or yeah, like, one of them. Or like some of the doggy daycares will have video cameras so you can check on your phone. Like, hey, what's what's my dog doing right now? Like, people would watch that. That's that's quality entertainment. <laughs> wow. I'll, I'll I'll make this an experiment one day coming up, and hey, we'll there see. you go. I'll let you guys know how it pans out. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll right make there. like I'll make like two dollars. It'll be fun. You say that now, so you, so you make money off it. Then oh, watch Taylor, watch it. <laughs> never mind, never mind, never mind. Hey, you know what? I mean, I'm sure you're probably in the same boat as me. I'm going to be paying student loans off for just about forever. Uh, yeah, anyway. I'll be dead. I'll never I'll never pay them off. It's fine. <laughs> well, <thank laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh boy. Well, oh, well for, for for my week, I I did a thing by accident. Well, it was on purpose. It started off with I never got the Lady Liadrin hero mm -hmm. portrait. Mostly because I didn't feel like playing WoW again. I hadn't played WoW in years. And then when Classic came out, I was like, "Oh, well, I'm going to play that. I'll get to level 20 and I'll get the the skin but guess what it didn't work apparently that doesn't work for classic so i was kind of bummed out and then the other day i don't know why but i was like okay i'm just gonna do it it can't take that long to get to 20 so and it doesn't in retail wow you get to level 20 super fast so i decided to play rogue which i'd never done before and rogue's probably my favorite class in hearthstone so i thought hey what the what the heck so Played some rogue and yeah, got to level twenty ridiculously quick, and then my week kind of got sucked away. Unfortunately, stupid wow. It it and and the funny thing about it too is not just that is my wife watched me play, and she's like, maybe I should download wow. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, okay. I can. Okay. I can I can put it on your laptop if you want. Oh, and there goes like, all your time. You yeah. wait. Does your wife play Hearthstone? She doesn't play oh, Hearthstone. No, man. but she knows the sound of almost every card. That's freaking hilarious. Okay. Yeah. She's heard it come from my computer. She's like, oh, I know, I know what that one does. You're for your like ass. six years, she's heard the sounds coming from the computer. And. <laughs> um she so she decided she was gonna play and she just wanted to try it and she was didn't think she was gonna have a lot of a lot of fun but back to zelda she loved she loved breath of the wild she played the crap out of breath, breath of the wild as soon as she completed it she started over again i think she's played it through three oh or four God. times wow oh wait and, she plays breath of the wild oh yeah yeah oh so she should play um age of calamity because it's, it's the prequel Oh. It, li it literally is go? like it's it's like literally the game before Breath of the Wild. Age of Calamity. Writing it's down. Right, he's writing this. Take it. Take it notes. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, born to give game. Go ahead, bro. Take it. <laughs> when, when's her birthday or anniversary? You could give that to her as a gift. Oh, I think it's tomorrow, Saturday. What the hell? Sorry. We actually have coming up. It's oh, I don't remember what year it is, but it's it's like. I don't know if you want to call us. We used to have a, an anniversary of when we met before we were married. We we would celebrate that of when we like had our first date, sort of thing. Okay, and that's coming up super soon in May, and I could just do it do it then because she was talking about wanting to do something for that this year because we haven't since we've been married. We haven't touched that because now we had like the wedding anniversary, mm -hmm. like the yeah. official. But that's coming up, and she said, "Hey, why don't we still do both?" So. Yo, Age of Calamity is the prequel, Breath of the Wild, and then this year, Breath of the Wild 2 is coming out. It's supposed mm. to. So, bro, bro take it. 
Perfect yeah. marriage. There you go. Uh, Dang, oh. right? Dude, Mike it, it, coming it, in clutch? <laughs> and so, it Wing was so, man. <laughs> it was so funny because she, so she's like, she didn't know what to play in WoW. So I was like, okay, she likes Zelda and she likes like bows and stuff like that. I'm like, play a hunter. Right? Like, you, <laughs> you can have a bow and then you get a cool pet. And Thanks. so she had all this fun making her character right off the bat. She's like, my chick is bad ass. Like she was, she was this blood, this blood elf hunter. She's like, look at this. She looks so awesome. And she just got so, like, and then that was Saturday morning. She played it all weekend, like didn't stop. And um, she, her account's name is Mrs. Hydra. So now we got Hydra Lisk, Mrs. Hydra, and my son's account is Mini Hydra. Aww. Yes. So we're the Hydra fam. That's is, awesome. awesome. Yeah, so yeah, my week unfortunately was sucked away by by some WoW action and didn't really play that much Hearthstone except for as soon as the ladder reset, I did the thing where I just try to grind up right away. I think I'm just before um, the diamond floor. I'm like <laughs> platinum one or two or something like that. It's kind of fun, even with the star bonus. I, like I was just I win streak like all the way up, and I got to plot one, like two stars or something, and for some reason then lost like four games in a row. I'm like, okay, I'm going to bed. <laughs> did you get your Liadrin? <laughs> yes, I did. I got the Liadrin. Ah, uh, good so, for you. Now I need an excuse to play Paladin. So maybe <laughs> our Paladin's good. So. Hey, I'm telling you, dude. If they unnerf uh, Call to Arms, you're going to be super happy. Oh my gosh! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I. Well, that would be even. So, yeah, even Paladin. Oh, I missed that deck. Oh, yeah. Oh, called Arms. Yeah, yeah. Four mana, four mana called Arms. So, yeah, if we get that, that that'll be that'll be pretty cool. So that's basically my week. What about you, Taylor? What what were you up to this past week? Um, well, <laughs> not a whole lot. Um, I started playing whenever ladder reset. Um, I played that first day. Okay, don't judge me, Mike. I was playing Secret Mage. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you, no, you're my dog. You're my dog. Cool. <laughs> I played that first day for like three hours, and I got to Diamond 2, and that's where I'm at right now. Wow. Dude. Yeah. I, wow. I, ranked up, I ranked up really quick with Secret Mage on the first day, and then I stopped playing because I wanted to focus on my decks for the Wild Tournament for this week. And so I've just, ever since then, I've just been playing a lot of casual, testing out my decks and stuff. Um, so I'm at Diamond 2 right now. I'll probably try to hit Legend maybe later this week. Um, and yes, with Secret Mage, okay? I'm sorry, but you know what? The meta sucks right now. It's either you play Secret Mage, or Big Priest, or Raza Priest, mm -hmm. or Kingsbane. No, you, you know what, right? though? What's you the don't, other good don't, deck? Odd Rogue, one of those. You hate the player, hate the game. <laughs> Exactly. That's all I gotta say. No, I. Someone told me a long time ago that it, you know if there's a deck or a card or whatever and it's busted, and you're not playing it, it's just you're not taking advantage of the good thing. Like if something's really good, and you decide not to play it, then you're doing yourself a disservice, right? So why not play the best deck? I mean, whatever. It, the only yeah. reason I'm not playing, you know, Reno Lock or Secret Mage or whatever is because I'm trying to jam like 1K wins, but. If I wasn't, I'd be playing it hands down. So, totally true. Like I actually had some guilt this week because I went up against somebody that had the golden celebration card back, and I was playing big priest, and uh, I won. Hmm. And this person was playing a wall. Well <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised because they were playing this well thought out secret hunter that were playing cards i haven't seen in years and it was like i think it may have been a reno version as well because i don't remember seeing a duplicate the entire time <laughs> and i just played a deck that was like autopilot and won. and then yeah. i'm like man like that guy was that guy had put some real thought into his deck and was creative that's I'm just like, so sad though because that's just what makes i'm sorry hydralist Nothing against you, but that just makes me mad because this dude put in That's effort. That's what I mean. And, yeah, okay, yeah, you didn't. Oh. Like I admit it, I was, I felt guilty. I yeah. felt horrible. I'm like, this guy has that golden celebration card back. I screenshotted it. I was like, cool. And then I was like, I won <laughs> playing like something I could 
<laughs> Teach a five year old to play. Yo, you should have conceded. He had the he had man. the golden celebration card back. He had the golden celebration card back. I Yo, you should it. nah. If you beat somebody with that, they should give you a copy of that card back. That's, That's right, cool. right? That would oh, that would be what, so cool. What card back did that? That happened with a card back, right? It's, Remember, it's what was that? Car. That was so long ago. The nasty, the, the the virus one, the nasty. It's like you play it against the person that had it, and then you got it. It's the right? card back. <laughs> Didn't they like call like the 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 HIV card or like the oh the, the STD got the yeah <laughs> so stupid it's nasty. That's oh. the one that I, every time we we would do co op, Hyder goes, "Oh, it's that card back again." It's, I don't even remember what it looked like. Yeah. Oh, it's, trust me. If we show you or you look it up, you will see it. Like put it on the, put in, it on the screen. Three matches. Right, or I'll, something. I'll find it. Hold on. Put it on OBS. <laughs> like it's everywhere. Like I, I don't know if it's people. Everywhere. Just, it is. It still is. I don't know why it drives me crazy because it autom- it. Yeah. It, it automatically got switched to your card back. Like it switched everybody's as soon as you played somebody with yeah. it. And I then I SP. feel like everyone just left it on, and it's been like two years or more. <laughs> Two years. It's like people that don't know how to change their card back. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Or or people just play on with it on random and it just shows up and I see it and <laughs> maybe it doesn't happen as often as I think, but I swear it's got to be. Uh, yeah, there it is. That's <laughs> it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I thought. Okay. To me, it um, looks like like two road runners. It's parrot feathers. <clears throat> yeah, it just looks like birds that have died. <laughs> well, I picked yeah. this. I picked this it's image because it says the viral cursed card back. <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh, I think it is called wow. the curse of Hakar. Actually, I literally forgot about that until just. Just no, no. It's like one of those crazy. things. Have you? It's like um, like like deja vu or something. Where you, now you're gonna st- anytime you're on ladder, you're gonna start seeing this everywhere. Yeah, like <laughs> you're you, gonna see this. Like holy yeah. shit! You'll never have noticed it before. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. like if you bought a Ford Focus and then now you're driving around and you're like, they're everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, Dr. Evil, what's your top yeah. five favorite card bags? Oh, sh- I don't even know the names of the card bags. Don't ask me that. That's Are a bad you, no, question. Just, just like, no, it's not. It's a great question. Give me the images. That's a bad. I like the cupcake, the pumpkin. Mm-hmm. Okay. Two. Um, fuck. Hold on, I gotta look at my collection. <laughs> I got you. you. You love Valentine's Day, right? The, the hard. You love yes, the hard? I like that one. That See? was hard back you. for a while. I know you. Three. Yep. Mm-hmm. Great question. See. Oh, love is in the air with the other hearts. Is that? That's, not, that's a different, right? That's the same. Same. That's one. the same one. Fuck. What's the other okay. one? Um. Okay. The legend card. card. The legend card back because I was so happy the first time I ever hit legend. I literally yeah. like knocked my chair over and like started jumping up and down. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, "Yes!" <laughs> um, I, and I like the the Winter Vale, the re- Christmas. There we go. All right, yeah, we got five. That's five. See, that's a great question. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Claps for Taylor. You Thank you. <laughs> everyone's laughing in chat so normally n- like normally anytime somebody swears on the show i i cut it out and put a mergle like a murloc noise <laughs> oh my bad i'm <laughs> no, sorry no it's so funny it's so funny it's, it's great loaded. it's great i love it don't change don't change just be no, yourself the edited what? version is just gonna be like taylor murgle, murgle, ah, murgle. <laughs> dr murgle it's making no sense so great <laughs> we have to change yeah, change your name to dr murgle you're like here's oh, this God. idiot you had on the show. Oh, that's so funny. No, I might just leave it. I think maybe maybe we just leave. I think it. it's good. You can just do like a uh, mature audience <laughs> there you um, go. warning. Be like, yeah. Oh. I saw yeah. my son commented on one of our YouTube videos recently. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> it's time to lock his account. So there's a great app. It's called Family Link. I have it for my daughter. Um, you can monitor. Our- no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, Nate, didn't you post a um a tweet not long ago? Or I think it was you. Yeah. Um, your son or something. Yes, oh yeah, he emailed work. me. That happened over the he past the, week. He, yeah, tell him about that. I thought that was so cute. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I got I, I was sitting at, at work, I got a text message from my wife. Hey, Gavin says he emailed you. Uh check your email. <laughs> and so I checked my email, email from my kid. And it, the title of the email says, you would be so proud. And he, he says, um, 
dad, I, I played a game of Hearthstone and I made a wild deck and I played my first game with it and it was on ranked and I won. And here's, <laughs> and here's the link to the deck code if you want to make it. And here's the HS replay so you can watch it. And I was like, oh my wow. God. And he's nine. So it's That's like, so freaking damn. Weird. Yo, some kids don't even jump into Google Classroom. They don't even submit their homework. And your son's emailing you <laughs> Hearthstone code <laughs> and HS replay? Hold on. Oh. I'll, I'll put it up on the screen because it was. Wow. Oh my I God. hope your son becomes like the next like world champion in like 10 years. I wonder, do you think the whole COVID thing that's happening now, like, really helped with that? Like, with kids having to use email more than they normally would? No, nah, my kid has been a tech whiz, like, this whole time. So, nothing, oh. nothing really changed, but... And only recently I've been teaching my son how to email because of, like, Mike was saying, like, they got to do it for, for school, right? Like, they have yeah. to do yeah. that. So, like, my, my yeah, son so uses, uses Teams for school, and then he's got to write emails if he doesn't have a homework assignment or something like that. He's got to email the teacher. And then I proofread it because he seriously, it's not that he can't spell. He just doesn't care. <laughs> and then he'll put silly words in it to think he's funny, <laughs> but he's 12. So I don't know. He's 12. <laughs> he's 12. <laughs> <laughs> Like, he literally changes his name. And, like, in the school thing, like, instead of having his real name, he makes himself have silly names. Every other kid, their name is their name when they go into teams. And his is, like, Mr. Chicken Nugget Man. <laughs> <laughs> Does he play Hearthstone? We need to get your kid and Nate's kid, like, hooked up together. Right. And, like, he, does, he does know how to play Hearthstone. He has a decent wild collection because he played up until about two years ago. What so, happened? Uh, Fortnite. Oh, God. Uh, that one Hearthstone is way cooler than Fortnite. Yeah, but that's not what the cool kids at school play. Oh, my God. All the kids at school play Fortnite, right? Wait, he played that's Fortnite? That's such a shame. But hey, Mike, Wait, he he your Fortnite? Ass. He's good at it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to tell you, I got my Switch. Wait, why we got to be enemies? I'm trying to be on the squad. <laughs> Actually, maybe you guys can do duos. Uh, you should do right, duos. Right. Yo, he can carry me. I got yo. I'm good with the yo. I'm good with the cars. I keep fuel. I know how to fly the chopper. I can carry <laughs> ammunition. Tell him I can carry mats. I, yo, I got him. I got him. Nice. It may, maybe we should set this up. He's amazing at building. When I when I play with him, he's like, oh. just follow me and I'll build. He builds so me. fast. Yo, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw. I thought. I thought you were like, let's go. Let's challenge him. <laughs> no, no, Mike, Mike Lowe, I, need them, I, need, I need I need younger, fresher models to make me look better. I, I've learned this in life. I mastered it, you know. Except <laughs> no, you gotta accept the younger generation. My my kid, he did the same thing. He carried me through a whole map. So I just write. Yeah, I literally run around and he's just like looting things and giving me what I need and he's like building. He's like, just follow me. We'll be good. Huh. And then whenever I see something, I just shoot it. Works out pretty well. Yeah, that's pretty. It good. does work out. Hey, yo, um, I want to put the focus back on uh, Doctor Evil. So, um, let me uh, transition over to the uh, listener series. How would I feel about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. All right. So, uh, yeah, a couple things I want to cover here tonight. Um, I want to cover uh, a match we're going to be having tonight. I just want to give an update on what the standings are. But first, I want to cover. Um, I want to do something a little different here tonight that we normally don't do. Uh, last week, I sent out a uh, questionnaire to uh, Dr. Evil here, and uh, she so graciously filled it out. And um, it has some pretty unique questions in there. I had nicknamed it uh, Inside the Cup, you know, because we're doing a tournament series here. So I just took some time to uh, send it out to her, like I did Labor Songer a few weeks ago, just to kind of, you know, pull the curtain back and uh, find out some different things. And um, I came across some pretty uh, compelling stuff, I'd say. W what would you say, Dr. Evil? Did you like filling? survey <laughs> um yeah it's just weird talking about myself um some of the questions i thought were kind of hard which was like kind of sad to me especially like sad? what do you mean not like sad sad but just like because i was i was sitting here i was like 
reading what is your favorite i think it was like what is your favorite song and i was like fuck <laughs> i don't think i don't think i have a favorite song what's wrong with me <laughs> oh you know what see i thought i i thought i worried it better i was like what's your what's your current favorite song because i see a, a lot of i see a lot of questionnaires that just say generic which favorite yeah song, well favorite? even like with that i was like shit i don't know like i'm guess i'm kind of lame uh <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> Don't know what to say for this one. Skip. <laughs> no, it was cool. Um, no, you you put piano on there, uh, right on par. You know, uh, just like a Twitch stream. So it just shows yeah. that's, that's, that's who you are. You know, just being real. Um, one cool thing on here on the survey for the listener series. Um, I had asked you, uh, what was it like? What was it really like meeting the uh, Walking Dead crew? Because um, those Twitter <laughs> pictures were really cool. So um, for me, this this. Uh, is in the realm of the listener series because this was a survey. So uh, would you mind running back real quick what it was like meeting them? Okay, so mm -hmm. whenever I lived in New Orleans for dental school, uh, we had Comic-Con that would come every year. Mm. And so the one year that I went to Comic-Con, all the, this was when I was like really big into The Walking Dead and like pretty much all of the like important actors in that show were there and i was like hell yes let's go and so i yeah. met um pretty much everyone there i met oh gosh now i'm drawing norman reedus? yeah i was yes. gonna say i never know their real <laughs> name's <you>. daryl <laughs> yeah norman daryl, reedus. <laughs> daryl aka norman reedus mm -hmm. um that's the picture that y'all retweeted with me and him and we were flipping the camera off that yeah. was really cool <laughs> I, got um, I wasn't able to talk to him much, but he was really nice um, whenever we took the picture together. And then I met Urschel. Urschel? Herschel? Fuck. Mm -hmm. I haven't watched the show in a long time. Herschel, Herschel. yeah. The old yeah, guy. The old guy. <laughs> um, he was so sweet. He's like your, like, I don't know. He just reminded me like of like a cuddly little grandpa. He was really nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, And then I met... Oh my god. <laughs> The, the mean guy. Oh, oh. Daryl's brother. Negan? No. You're talking oh, about the guy in the show that was Daryl's brother? The real, me like, that mean one? or Merle. Merle, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Merle. Merle, yeah. Merle. Merle, okay. Yeah. He was probably the funniest that I'd talk to. Mergle? Oh, I bet. I bet. <laughs> Merle. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he was super cool. Um... He was actually wearing like a black uh, Call of Duty t-shirt. And I was like, shit, I should probably talk to him about this. He probably plays Call of Duty if he's wearing that t-shirt, right? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so I was talking to him about it. And he was like, yeah, man, I play a lot of Xbox. And um, I was asking him, I was like, well, whenever you're like on Xbox Live, like talking to people, like, do you tell people that you are you? And he was basically like, yeah, but I play against a lot of little kids and none of them believe me and then they just start cussing me out and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, damn, that sucks. <laughs> like, oh, no. how cool would that shit be? Like, you're playing, like, Call of Duty and then, like, you freaking, like, queue into a game with Merle from The Walking Dead and he's, like, trying to tell you, hey, it's me. And then you're like, oh, no, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie to me. You're lying. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, and then I also met um, Shane. Uh, little, little Asian oh, dude, little yeah, Asian guy. Awesome. He was really cool too. That's They're all super sweet. Cool. I love them yeah. all. But Glenn, I'm, Asian guys. Glenn. Glenn. Wait, what? What did I call him? Shane. Shane's, Shane's, Shane's the other the, bad guy. He's in, he's, Shane's the guy who plays the Punisher on Netflix. What yeah. am I? Why yeah. am I? Why do I think his name is Shane? Glenn. Oh my god. Oh, good. Glenn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I, cool. I stopped watching Walking Dead because there's just so many seasons and they just kept walking and nothing was happening. <laughs> they just kept <laughs> walking. <laughs> it's like Lord of the Rings, right? They just kept walking. What they, said. they just kept walking. <laughs> they kept walking and not much was happening and I got bored. That's funny. <laughs> they were the Walking Dead. The show was a pun. There you go. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> Yeah. Hey. So after uh, after tonight's episode, we'll be hosting um, a match. Oh yeah. So, oh, That'll be that should be pretty cool. Yeah. So tonight we've got uh, Schmoopy Daddy versus Blase Blase. 
that we're going to be hosting. And that should be a lot of fun. Um, I did some practice matches this week against Blase, so it should be kind of fun. I, I kind of I know what he's playing. I don't know what Schmoop he's playing. So, but it's been um, the past few weeks we've hosted matches after the show, and it's been a blast. And uh, I will say. Uh, Mike, I have to give you props as the commissioner of this listener series, tournament format series, whatever we want to call it. But uh, it's been an absolute blast. So much fun building these decks. And um, honestly, I've had more interaction with the community in the last few weeks uh, just because of this, because these aren't typical decks that you would be playing on ladder. Uh, A lot of times you have to practice with a friend and so sitting here in Discord, hey, anybody want to do some practice matches? And then five different people, yeah, 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 okay, cool. And so it's been a blast just hanging out with people and and playing this because like this isn't stuff I want to um, necessarily play on ladder, but it really forces you to think outside of the box and come up with some creative um, solutions here. And I like this week had a ban list, and so it was kind of cool. Like you build your deck, and then you look, oh, I got to pull that card out. Oh, I can't use that card. Oh, wait a minute. And like uh, Dr. Evil and I had, had were spitballing ideas for decks and stuff and, and same with a couple other people. And it was really cool just to, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, just get some ideas and bounce ideas off each other and stuff. It was, it's been a lot of fun. So yeah, thanks for putting it together and, and hosting it and everything. Hey, I appreciate that a lot. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. And it's pretty cool if you guys are spending time, um, you know, c- collaborating and, you know, bouncing ideas and talking about decks. Um, yeah, that's that's exciting to hear. Um, it is cool to get, you know, more uh, feedback on it. Um, I'll, I'll take any feedback, you know, positive, negative, constructive. Um, but it is good to like hear um, that people are having fun within it. And then someone who does give good uh, constructive criticism and feedback is um, Electric Sheep City. Um, shout out to him for uh, helping me out on the back end with some things. Um, more specifically, uh, working on um, our sheets for season two. But not to give too many uh, leaks and trailers and stuff. We'll talk <laughs> about that when the time comes. Mm-hmm. I just want to touch on two more things. Um <clears throat> Shout out to Dr. Evil. Still in first place. 4 0. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. You know? Woo woo. Absolutely you. Uh, destroying and running through everybody. Um, <laughs> just uh, one, one more question. Um, mm-hmm. Regardless of the week. Yeah. Um, and you know me, I'm a, like a positive person. I like to ask the person the question and hear their thinking. I don't like to you know, tear decks down or tear your idea down. So forget the meta. You know me. I'm just asking a general question. Out of all the decks you built for all these challenges, what has been your favorite deck to play? Uh, probably Spell Hunter. Not oh, gonna lie. Spell Hunter. Okay. I did make it. Yeah, I think that was the week where we could like only have spells or something, right? Okay. Okay. Or, yeah, that sounds about right. right. Yeah, we had a spells mm-hmm. only deck. Yeah, or spells only. Yeah, week. the Spell Hunter yeah. deck it was so much fun. I was like playing that shit in casual. I was playing it in rank, tank my legend rank. It was a great time. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Really excited <laughs> for that. Really excited to see uh, more decks. And um, yeah, congratulations for you to you uh, being in first place. Um, we have some other uh, matches going on, so um, I'll have more updates for the league uh, coming later. And like Nate said, we got a match after the show. Um, so yeah, let me kick it uh, to Hydra now. Wait, hold on. I do have the wheel oh. up if you want to pick the next week's challenge too. We have the wheel. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Here, here's the thing. Um, we're waiting for some matches to clear up so we can get the standings right because next week we'll start playoffs. Ah, uh, um, copy that. So, I, so yeah, so I was looking to hold off on progressing that b- before some other things. You know, I just want to, I don't want to have that go too far forward before we clear up week four, week five things. I don't want to start week six issues, you know? Right. It works for me. Just keep it uniform and organized. But we're so active in Discord. Um, anybody listening to this conversation, you know, is in Discord. And if you're not, you should come join us. So let me give it to Hydra for the news. Yeah, so we don't have a lot to talk about, to be honest. There's not a lot of news in Hearthstone this week. Um, one thing that we do have is the new solo content for Valera is out. Have any of you guys played this yet? Nope. 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 <laughs> uh, I guess I'm the only one. I was. I did. I did. I did. Oh, did you? Yeah. I um, 
I was procrastinating and, uh, I was, I, yeah, I, I, I was procrastinating on some work that I had to do. And so I thought, you know, usually a lot of, a lot of these book of heroes I'll save for later, but I saw people talking about it on Twitter saying, Hey, this one's hard. This one, there's, there's two bosses in particular that are pretty difficult. And, uh, I heard people talking about that. I was like, Oh yeah, maybe I should try that. And so, uh, yeah, I, I played through it and there were two, there were two bosses in particular that I can think of. I think Garona was one. And then the final boss was kind of hard. Um, I mean, I still beat it in one day, but it, um, Oh damn. I, I don't think that the, I will say that, um, the storyline I felt was kind of lacking. It was kind of like, yeah, so I was a gladiator and then I fought this match in the Coliseum. And then I fought this other match in the Coliseum. And then I fought this other match in the Coliseum. I was like, oh, uh, great, you're a rogue. great story there. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it was, I mean, overall it was fun. I, I will say that um, I've played through all of them at this point, And this has been the hardest one. And I think there was two matches in particular that were a little bit difficult. There's, there's one enemy that you play that equips basically like King's Bane. And then all the all the damage that she does against you is doubled. And so, you know, if they hit you for eight, it does 16 and it's like, Whoa, and you die super easy. And then the final boss was a little bit tricky. Um, it's that that weapons just, it, it's their hero power, right? They just have to, it's like a one mana hero power gives them the weapon. It might be two. It's either one or two, but yeah. 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 Yo. Uh, it's, it's definitely doable, but yeah, it was fun. I, I actually recommend this one. It was a little bit, more challenging than I was ex- expecting, and yeah, yeah, I, I wish... hopped into it also. Um, but uh, I I had forgotten that I didn't finish the priest one, and I was on the last the last boss, and so you couldn't just back out without retiring your run. So I was on the last boss, and like it was either click retire or finish the boss, and I remember I was like, man. I stopped on this boss for a reason and I couldn't remember why. And yeah, cause the one for the priest the last boss was annoying. So it took me another like four tries. What was the priest last boss? I don't even remember anymore. You know, I, this is yesterday and neither do I, um, <laughs> <laughs> that tells you how good the content is. That um, one, that uh, one was a, like a one and done for me. I, I managed was, to. Okay. So what it was, was, um, they have one big minion, and you have to keep killing the minion um, to progress in in like throughout the, the boss battle. So they drop this big thing with taunt, and you have to destroy it to move on to the next big with thing with taunt that they put down. And one of the big things with taunt was at the end of your turn, give your friendly minions poisonous or something like that. So yeah, it was it was rough. So anyways, I beat that, and then I jumped into the rogue one, and. Uh, the second last boss, I believe, was the hardest one for me. It, it's the one where your opponent had a hundred life, I believe. Mm, and so, yeah, yeah, that, that that was a bit tough. The actually the final boss, I guess I just got lucky because it worked out perfect, and I just beat it. Like it just first try. Right. I don't know what the what the heck happened, so, but it, it was pretty good. Something happened where I ended up. I don't know if it was that boss or the boss before. I ended up milling them. So. It was pretty cool. Like, just got rid of what was left in their deck. I can't remember which one, but yeah, the final the final boss was pretty neat. neat yeah, pretty neat. It was another one of those. They just drop something, and you have to uh, destroy it. And there, I think it was like four waves that it go goes through. But I don't know it's content. It's free. You don't have to play it if you don't want to. So hey, you I mean, you know what? Free pack. So whatever. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, like, it's, it's something to do. I did like this one. I mean, it was I, it was kind of cool. Hey, free 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 stuff is free stuff. By the way, speaking of free uh, packs or rogue packs, did you um, <laughs> did, did any of you manage to open the the bugged out <laughs> minion in your no. packs? No, I didn't get that. I did. It was fun. Like I I opened this uh, so you can in the in the free pack. Um, there's a it was a a bug um it looks like a, a hero card for my ev shadow song and it was like i i opened the pack and i was like what what is this it shows zero mana no text on the on the box 
uh, Maev. Like, huh? And uh, it was super weird. And so I I actually got um, a DM from Celeste Alon asking questions, like trying to figure out the bug. And then I saw that they temporarily suspended opening the rogue packs <laughs> while they fixed the bug. And then... I got uh, 400 dust for it. I heard that people that got a gold one got 1600 dust. So what? It's, no way. Yeah, yeah. That's because awesome. they give you essentially, it's just like a nerf. Like they give you full dust refund value. So if I had crafted an epic, it would be 400 dust. And so, because what happened is you get this, like you open this card, and then I looked in my collection to see, like, oh, what? Like clearly, that's not a real card, right? But what? Um, so like what wait, is the I'm actual confused. card and yeah, so what? yeah you didn't get is, one you just didn't get is, one and is that so, supposed to be a card or that's just like a random well let me thing? i'm confused let me pull up his if you guys want to pull back the curtain for a second i will pull up my dms here um and uh what's really strange is when like the the card that you got i don't know if you guys ever have seen on twitch streams when um they have deck tracker enabled and you hover over someone's hero this is what you see have you guys ever had that or like you can hover over their hero and it'll show them as a hero card like this I yes. never noticed yeah you huh. see that mike yep. yeah that's exactly yep. what you what you see if you put your cursor over them mm. so i don't know what the coincidence is there like the heroes actually have some coded in card for them like this so they got the road class as a card yeah, why couldn't this be like an in-person thing like at a real card shop like hey man i swear <laughs> i opened this pack it's at my house like you should give me the, like, a new card right here right now dude I right i thought that was kind of <laughs> it was crazy so he dm me he said hey do you know if you had them i have hero skin before and you have it now and i said yeah i had it since it came out uh, thanks for the quick response and sorry for tagging you. Let me check and see if I still have it. Cause I remember when the last set launched, uh, the, the old Samsung galaxy card back, like disappeared from your correction, uh, collection. And then it eventually came back. And so I checked and I'm like, Oh yeah, uh, it's there. And so he just said, great. Thank you. And then I, the next thing I saw up there is that they disabled opening rogue packs while they figured out the bug. I guess they got it figured out and then they enabled it back. And then I open up Hearthstone the next day and like got this big, bam, here's 400 dust. I was like, what is this for? Oh, it must be the rogue thing. Yeah. So, so I, I believe the, they have enabled the card packs again. Cause I opened rogue cards after this. Yeah, I believe they did. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to uh, purchase yourself, the new rogue skin in the, the five packs that's in the store as well. If you want to pick that up, what do you guys think about the new skin? Looks pretty neat. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've all been asking I, I for rogue it. skin, so. Yeah. No, I, I got it. I like it. Uh, I wish that it wasn't. So someone had made this comment. Like, you see here in the picture, it's on like a blue background, right? Like she's out in the arena. And mm -hmm. someone had mentioned um, when they did the ad for it on their Twitter, I think, it was... It's like they had it cut out and it was on a different background, like a black background or, or brown or different, like a darker background. And it looks way better. <laughs> and they were like, hey, could you remove someone had mentioned like, hey, can you remove the, the light blue background and put on a dark background? It'd be so much more rogue. And uh, I, I tend to agree with that. It looks cool, but it's so bright and sunshiny that it. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Um, right. If I see it, I might, uh, I hop on Twitter and be like, yo. Hold on, I'll I'll add it to the uh, I'll add it to the screen here because it looks so cool. It, it it's just a little bit different, but um, one second here. On the launcher, it has her standing in front of uh, some like brown rocks sort of thing. So I don't know if if that's one. I put that in our chat. Yeah, yeah. I think that's there. it. Yeah, that's it. It's um, it's the same picture, but it's just a different background, and it looks. I think it looks better, like the bright blue is just a little bit difficult to i don't know it's not very roguelike that's all it's the I contrast know. i think i mean sort of takes away from the cool art whatever it's still cool it's funny though you know everybody so this first rewards track um so many people chose the rogue skin for the reason that uh there's no rogue skins 
<laughs> and then all of a sudden, you know, all of a sudden, hey, here's more. By the way, um, Taylor, what uh, what what hero skin did you pick for your uh, level fifty? Seriously? Do you have I to th- ask me that I question? Think you pick shaman, Let- right? <laughs> He's so offended. <laughs> Hold on. Let Let's all take a vote, Nate. What do you think? Shaman. My vote, shaman. Mike. Uh, the old Taylor would have picked druid. No! I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. What do you I mean, the old up. Taylor? What happened? I'm making up. That 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 has no factual <laughs> anything. There's no. Yeah, I I pick shaman. Of course. <laughs> nice, nice. All right. I don't think we, I don't think we had any other news. There's and that was pretty much it. <laughs> no, it's we're sort of in um like Stalemate. Yeah, yeah, we're sitting in, you know, the waiting room for Just listening to the crickets, <laughs> hoping ladder changes some Right. It's the calm, some kind the of calm way. before the storm. Yeah. Like said, with the dark moon race, we're racing to the barrens. So yep. we're just kind of We had a gas this week. We're walking Hey, you know what? It, it actually is pretty fun for us because this gives us an opportunity to just chit chat. And uh, instead of having, you know, we always have so much news to cover. And this time we get to, um, you know, yeah. just hang out. So I will, I'm going to post something on the screen real quick because it's funny. Uh, <laughs> but honestly, oh, it's it. uh, honestly, it's kind of nice to, to take a little break and not have to have like a ton of news to catch up on. And like, I felt bad a little bit for last week because there was so much to cover. And I think going forward, trying to figure out like, Hey, how are we going to do card reviews in a way that doesn't take 10 hours to do? And, um, but, uh, yeah. So there's like, you know, the core set is happening. Cool. It's been announced. Cool. We've seen all these cards and now there's talk of, um, a, Look at that little girl. She's so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Just Not the other little girl. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, man. So there's all this talk of like, hey, what got changed? I saw Slizzle's been playing Bluegill Warrior, like OTK decks, trying to, you know, use it before the card is dead. And uh, meanwhile, we're sitting over here being like, hey, hey, when are we going to see some new cards from the new set? Hey, when are we going to yeah. learn about the uh, unnerfs and... So I don't know. It's interesting. I got the pre-order in, in my collection. It says you can open them in March. And so I assume that sometime this month we'll get to, that's when the new set will be coming out. But like, it's, it's interesting because it's been crickets for a whole week and I don't know, whatever. I guess we'll see. I mean, I, I'm going to just try to go on March 30th. I'll be back March 30th. <laughs> <laughs> you know what though? It's been great because in the meantime, we got this listener series to play and that's been a ton of fun and you know i think we're all sort of transitioned to like different other games and stuff i don't know it, i don't mind taking a little break every once in a while and i decided this month at least for me personally like hey i'm gonna try to jam decks that i don't have 1k wins with and trying to play shaman on ladder right now is a nightmare you know, let me tell you <laughs> My my win rate is like fifty one percent or something, like uh, it's really bad. But like it's it's fun. It's a lot of fun. You just lose a lot, and you got to be okay yeah. with that. <laughs> that's that's on the positive side of fifty. So <laughs> I'll tell you what: if I had eleven stars, it'd be pretty easy. But <laughs> <laughs> did anyone get eleven stars this month? Uh, I got ten. I. Nope. You know what? I was looking at my stats. It has been 12 months in a row now that I have hit Legend every month, and I have never gotten 11 stars. Um, yeah, it's, me it's, either. So, it's so sad. Yo, I purposely tanked back to 9 stars just so I can really enjoy this, like, <laughs> off Oh, <meta> whatever. <laughs> even if you hit Legend, or, and even if you are in Dumpster Legend, I'm pretty sure you still get 10 stars. I didn't hit legend last month. I, oh, okay. uh, I went to nine stars. It's awesome. Yeah, I was pl- I, w- I was also just like having fun. I was playing around at Diamond Four near the end of last month, and I ran into uh, Matt Sund, and like oh, yeah. into him, and and he's like, "What the hell are you doing in the dumpster? It's the end of the <laughs> month." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't care, man. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, so someone had a question in chat, and I a lot of times we we don't interact with chat a whole ton on the recording, but it's a pretty laid back show this week. 
And so I do want to answer the questions. Uh, Gobbledygook asks, should I dust classic cards I'm getting for free? No, the answer is no, don't do that. Uh, mm-hmm. We talked about it briefly on the show last week. I will find the tweet from, from Celestalon real quick. But uh, the reason behind that is um, that, uh, let's see here. Okay, okay. So here's the answer. Um, well, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to put this on the screen. Hold on two seconds. Um, I- uh, for the record, Matt Sund was also in the dumpster. So I think I think he was just poking fun at himself as well. Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh yeah. No, he, he's good people. He's funny. Yeah, yeah. He's he's good. I, I, I like Matt Sund. Mm-hmm. I love Matt Sund. One more, one more good thing. Uh, he, he raided me one time, and he's a very nice guy. That's why I first met him. He's a cool person. <laughs> All right, Gobbledygook, yeah. this is for you right here, okay? So Josh asked, if I have, say, Fallen Hero, and I get the copies from the core set, am I safe to disenchant the two that I had previously? If you take them out of the core set next year, would I lose access to them if I disenchant them? He says, correct and correct. And so Josh says, so if I want to be 100% sure, I will always have a card. I need to hold on to my original copies as well as the core set. Sorry, I'm just a bit confused as to what happens if the cord card gets changed out. And he said, well, you could also craft it later. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, no, that's the answer is that, hey, um, if you uh, potentially dust. So here's the difference, right, is that there's essentially two sets. The, the core set counts basically as its own um, as its own set, if you will. And so, but you can only have, so you can only have two copies of a card in a deck if it's non-legendary. Hypothetically, you dust your original and then the, yeah, yeah, the core set rotates out or goes away or whatever. Like now it's just gone. So we'll see. I mean, there's a lot that we still don't know. They also said repeatedly that, hey, what happens when the core set rotates? And they've said, hey, we think that we're going to stick it in wild, but like, we're talking about what happens in a year from now. So we don't really know. And so that's one thing that I keep, uh, dipping back to as well. Um, and you know, since we're here, let me just read it. Uh, Hey, I've got a question for you. What happens to the brand new core set cards after they rotate? Like the new Nas, for example, do they stay in our collection forever or do we have to craft them to play them in wild post rotation? And he says, hey, that's over a year away, but they probably move to the legacy set and be craftable. And so I don't even know what that means. Does that mean that like I had the I had the card in core and it moves now to wild and I don't have it and I have to craft it if I want it? Or is that just if I was playing at the time the core set and it rotated, now I have it and it's in wild. And I think we don't really know is the right answer and we could speculate all day, but um, what they keep getting back to is like, Hey, that's a year from now and we'll think about it and figure it out later. And so I haven't, I tried to just not have too much heartburn over the whole thing because they'll figure it out later. Mm -hmm. So yeah, whatever. It's so weird having a week with no news. Like, really, I, I, I'm i a little bit out of sorts. Like, I don't know what I should be doing right now. <laughs> Calm before hey, um, the storm, man. There's going to be all these changes, apparently. So, hey, real quick. Um, if we want to talk Hearthstone news, um, I think it counts. Um, you know, shout out to uh, Dr. Evil. Most recently, you know, she um, financially uh, gifted... 20 subs to my Twitch channel. Holy <laughs> crap. Thank you, Dr. Evil. Oh, my God. Dude, wow. So, that's crazy, awesome. man. That's Hearthstone news. I play Hearthstone while it's here. <laughs> right. Black card that's, here. I guess to, uh, technically Dr. Evil, donate here. Holy High crap. five. Thank you. She, she's like, I did what? How much was I drinking? <laughs> Shit. How, how much money is 20 subs? I don't know. Nah, nobody's <laughs> counting. Nobody's counting. It was great, though. That's exciting. Yeah, hey, that's... I got one. I got yeah, one of them. Man. No, oh, I, man. I don't have 100 million. I wish I did. No, no. That's, that's it's, uh, God, million. I wish I wish I had the soundboard set up. One million dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I just I don't know. I think I'm not trying to get like mushy or sentimental or anything, but Bring it. like Mike, I think you're a really good friend. I always enjoy like talking to you, like and I know you've been through some rough stuff recently and to see you to see that like you're still able to stream and like put on a smile for everybody 
uh, and be positive still while people are being jerks. Um, I don't know. It just it says a lot about your character, and I think you are a very good person, and I think you definitely deserve the subs that I sent you. <laughs> Shout out to Mike, and I, I really appreciate it. Taylor. And you know what? I, I know you really meant it because um, you were very, very nice and genuine, and you said jerks. You know, you, you, you said <laughs> jerks, so, so I knew, you know, <laughs> could have said more spicy, but <laughs> I know you really meant it. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think we're, um, we're, we're, all, yeah. we're all good friends, and, you know, mm-hmm. we've known, at this point, most of us in the wild community have, like, known each other for years now. Yeah. And I think it's important that, you know, we have each other's backs, because mm-hmm. in the real world, life can suck sometimes, but on the internet world, like, we can just be happy and nice and do our thing, and it's great. Hey, and um, there's oh, my picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yes. <laughs> it was the timing of this was so funny. So the picture on the screen right now is is Norman Reedus with uh Taylor flipping off the camera and the timing of this is so funny because I've been playing Death Stranding. Like anytime I'm not playing Hearthstone I'm playing Death Stranding and he's the main character in that. <laughs> yeah. And I have such a weird time seeing him in any other role. Like he looks identical to this. In fact, he wears like he wears a hat and glasses. And a, and like a jumpsuit, like it looks exactly like this right here. And so, <laughs> so funny. I'm playing the game. You run around with a giant backpack full of stuff, and and it's people jokingly call it like walking simulator, which it sort of is. Uh, <laughs> but like that's him, and it's weird because he breaks the the fourth wall all the time in the game. When you're like in your room resting or whatever, he'll like look at the camera and like move the camera and point it at stuff and like. It, make funny faces and do weird stuff. It's so funny. So I'm jealous that you got to meet him. He seems like a cool guy. Look, he touched my hair. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Look, touched my hair guys. <laughs> did you, did you ever watch boondock Saints trailer? <laughs> I did. Yes. I, yeah, I, I saw the first one for sure. I can't remember the second one. The second one was awful. That's yeah. You I, don't need to watch the second one. Just watch. Yeah. The first I, yeah, I, I did see the, He's awesome in that movie. Yeah. I, um, yeah, I don't know if I ever told you guys the story. I had a class in college. Um, I, I took, I got my bachelor's in criminal justice and we had a class. Um, it, it was a one semester class. It was called sex crimes and culture. And it was all, it was nothing but guest speakers and it was different. It, we had, um, defense attorneys and DAs and um, different, like all kinds of different people. But it was a lot of it had to do with um, different like sex crimes or whatever. And one of the guest speakers was Ron Jeremy of all people. And and this was way back before he had been accused. This is like years ago at this, probably 10 years ago at this point, or maybe longer before he had been accused of, uh, the like crimes and stuff. But, uh, I remember like I was a huge, huge boondock saints fan. I thought you were going to say you were a huge Ron Jeremy fan. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) that's a, that's a no for me, dog. (laughs) (laughs) He said that his nickname was, it was like, it was like the dirty hedgehog or something like that. It was like the weirdest thing. But, so the he's <laughs> <laughs> so he's in that movie. He's in that movie. Um, anyway, it was a great movie. I I watched it for the first time with my father, which was a mistake. And, oh, that's weird. Uh, <laughs> God, oh, and, uh, anyways, <laughs> my so my copy of the DVD is signed by Ron Jeremy. That's the long long story oh, short. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know if I still have it or not, but. <laughs> You should sell it on eBay if you do. This is technically in between segments. This does not categorize under Hearthstone. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> uh, <laughs> this is the Hearthstone news. I have a Ron Jeremy signed <laughs> copy of the Boondock Saints. Yeah, it's a good movie. Uh, it was very funny and very. I don't know. I, I'm not sh- quite sure that it aged very well, though. Like college nate thought that it was like the greatest thing ever and and like yeah and now you're like grandpa nate is like eh. 
but but like who? I forgot that Norman Reedus was in it. Oh, did you? Yeah, he's like he's the other brother. Two. Yeah, yeah. There's the two brothers. He's one of them. Yeah, and the other guy was young Indiana Jones. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah. Anyways. Hey, speaking of uh, Herso news, oh, yeah. uh, when the time when, when the time <laughs> comes um, for uh, nerfs, how do you think we're going to balance out a show? It's gonna be a live show, separate show. Oh man, I this is it's going to be crazy this month because. I think like right at the same time, I've been thinking about this a little bit and I am a little bit lost for a solution because we're going to have, we're going to have nerf, uh, like unnerf announcements, right? They said 30 cards are getting reverted. Like that's a whole show right there. And then on top of that, right, we're going to have our card reveal of all the new set and like, that's a separate episode. And then we've got guests lined up for this whole month to celebrate women's history month and like oh can you spoil it who's coming on next or um, the next three weeks yeah i i'm happy spoiling i i'm happy spoiling um one of them just give me one some of them so next week yeah mike so well yeah you want to spoil next week mike um (laughs) yeah hold on yeah of course Totally prepared for this. Yeah. So while you guys are waiting, <laughs> check out born to be wild HS. So we got Dragon yeah. HS. Don't forget the HS. Yeah. We got Dragon Rider yeah. coming on. Yay, I love her. She's great. Yes. Okay, good. Dragon Rider. So we got Dragon Rider coming on, and then uh we've got Ziggy coming on, and that'll be a blast. Mike and I have oh known Oh my gosh. Mike and I have known her for mm-hmm. years and years and years, and so um that'll be a lot of Actually, fun. Just as long I've known Taylor and Dragon Rider and Ziggy, like all. all I, that's what I was saying. Long. Like we've known like each other for years, years now at this point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been a long time. It's gonna be OG month. It's gonna be awesome, yeah. right? I think it'll be a blast. And uh, we were working to try to get Bella Desca on, but she's in the EU, and so there's a giant time time zone difference. So oh, we're man. trying to we're trying to work on that. It's um, it, it makes things. Think who else you- oh, I've got so I've got some ideas. I I um. I'm working on working on a a fourth right now that yeah. I, don't, I don't want to spoil quite yet. Yes. Yeah, but hey, but hey, for uh, you know, badass women in her own group, um, we're definitely looking out for Bella Desca, um, you know, Odd Warrior Queen. We definitely want to get her on. Um, she has a beautiful mind when it comes to that deck, uh, that play style. So I'm I'm excited for when when, when we can make that happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She said absolutely. she lived in, in Germany, so we got to figure out logistics. You know. Yeah, I feel bad for especially when we get our friends on from EU, uh, any any part like overseas, it makes the time zones really really difficult trying to line things up. Especially when we record on Friday night and right off the bat, like East Coast, it's already late, and so when you're talking seven hours ahead or or whatever, it's super late. And so trying to kind of work that stuff out can be difficult. But um, so we'll end up we'll end up having a special episode sometime on, on a different day. We just have to work out some logistics and, um, but yeah, but yeah, it, it it should be a really fun month and some amazing players. So I think it'll be a blast, and it's always nice talking with friends and hanging out. So for sure, I had a good time. Good. That's my favorite part about the show is is seriously just chatting with y'all. It's always good. <laughs> hey, um, one more thing. Uh, Hearthstone news. Uh, we do have Dragon Rider coming on this month. Uh, you know, CEO of Amber Flight Gaming. Amber Flight Gaming just landed a huge fish. They signed the Rotted Zombie. So, you know, a round of applause for them. The Rotted big Zombie. Ride, big time in the wild scene. So, yeah. We bring in our own Hearthstone news. You know what I'm saying? Congrats to that man. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I'm excited. We keep, we keep crossing paths. He lives right here, like in the same city as me. And, uh, we we kept trying to meet up at one of these firesides, and then COVID hit. So, uh, so pretty soon we'll, we'll see him on camera with you. You guys will be in the same room. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I got my vaccine finally. So, you oh, know yeah. what? Yeah. You know what? I I lucked out with the second dose. I did not get you didn't, s- nothing. Nothing. Nope. <gasps> what the heck? I got. You are t- a superhero. See, you're a lawyer. <laughs> you're a by day, Batman by night. It's Daredevil. Superhero. Yeah, that's how. That's how we do. <laughs> Uh, you're so lucky you know what i got the pfizer one my arm hurt and i was kind of tired the funny thing was like like everyone had said hey the day of is fine like i got it after work 
and the day of is fine. Your arm hurts a little bit. The next day you're going to feel like awful. The next day I went to work all day and then did the show that night. And then, um, and then we, we played our match that week too. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I was tired. Like I, I was kind of tired, but that's it. Like no fever, no sick, no nothing. I got so lucky. I had a fever for like two days or two and a half days. That's a bummer. Yeah. Well, Hey, I mean, at least you got it right. I, um, it's, uh, it, it's tricky. You know, it's not, not everybody can get it. My, uh, like I have it and I'm going into the office, although we're kind of close to the public. And so I'm not really interacting with a lot of people, but, um, you know, my wife doesn't have it. My kid doesn't have it. Half the people I work with don't have it. And it, it's, um, so I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a step yeah. in the right direction, but, uh, well, at least you don't live in Texas. Oh man, I felt bad. I I saw that oh, I saw man. that tweet go out, and uh, I immediately sent a message to Electric Sheep City, and I was like, "I'm sorry, dude." <laughs> and he goes, I, he goes our, "Our governor's a moron." I just um, I don't know, not to get too political, but like I saw the tweet, and the tweet from the governor says mm-hmm. Texas is open 100. percent I I removed the the mask uh, requirement and. Yeah, one hundred percent open. I was like, it's "Oh like, yay, my let's, god, let's spread COVID." Who's ready? Well, yeah. that's like uh, what I think. The frustrating thing is, it's like it's been a full year now, like one full year, and cool. Let's just undo all of everything, all of the hard work that you know. Everyone stayed home yeah. for a, for a full year. Yeah, I mean, it's like saving your Hearthstone cards, and you start dusting them. Like, you know, <laughs> I saved them. I'm tired of this. Gonna dust them. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, yeah, it. I hope that you know everyone that that wants one is able to get one. I, and I know it's my state made it eligible. I'll be able to starting March twelfth. You know, being an education education system. So gotta wait another week, a week in a few days. Hopefully, I make it. I'll check (laughs) in with you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't please uh, don't get sick. That would not be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't right. think I'm probably like on the last of the list to get something. Well, like that's that. the unfortunate thing. Like my wife is on the very, like at the last, last of the list, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's like, that's a bummer. Um, it's, there's not, you, you know, it's hard cause you don't want to leave the house and you don't want to touch anything. You don't want to interact with people and uh, staying home for a year kind of sucks. So it's yeah um, before when i did it by choice it was cool but when you forced me it's like wait well like, well that's <laughs> how that's how it is right when you have a choice hey i get to do what i want and that's fine but when you take away the mm-hmm. choice it's like oh i don't i don't know i don't like people telling me what to do i get i get so sometimes it, it was cool going out getting drunk and then coming back home and honestly just playing like hearthstone but now it's just like i don't have the choice <laughs> to do that i just i don't know you guys know we're all doing it damn yeah Anyways, hey, let's uh, we're we're let's move back into what we've been playing this week. Um, okay, cool. Hey, I love spitballing with you guys; it's super fun. But I want to talk about Hearthstone a little bit. So, I personally, this is I did a co-op with Blue Train on Monday this week, and we built uh, a big shaman deck. This is like classic big shaman. There's not, um, you know, nothing fancy. Uh, you can with like you can bloom, bloom, and muck more for on turn one, and pull a Yasiraj and pull a Colossus. Like at fourteen damage, fifteen damage on turn one is pretty awesome. <laughs> but when it yeah. works, when it when you high roll, you super high roll. Um, but uh, you know the meta is very hostile towards it. that. That being said, it was this was like day one of ladder reset, and so this is all the people like super tryharding, and it does great into like aggro but into your like Reno decks and, and big priest and some of the, some of that other stuff, it, it suffers really hard. And so I am sitting here with my like 51% win rate with it, but it's a blast and I'm probably going to keep jamming it. Although maybe, maybe like Taylor said, maybe I'll jam some, uh, even shaman. I don't know. It seems pretty okay still. And I might pull, it's running two muck morphers and I might pull one out and put something else in because when Yasiraj pulls uh, a Muck Morpher, that really sucks a lot. Oh, uh, yeah. I've seen some other lists. Like, uh, I think it was Oddlaw sent me a list that was a different version of this that was a big dragon package. So it was running um, the Deathwing that pulls dragons from your hand. 
and then it was running two copies of uh is it Blackwing, whatever it is, uh Dragnaros, the 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 one that does <laughs> eight damage or nine damage to a minion at the end of the turn. And like, yeah. dude, that's that card is legit good. Uh it's surprisingly it really like really way better than I thought it would be. Mm-hmm. And uh, so that was fun. My win rate with it is atrocious. My win rate with with his version was like twenty five percent or something, like really bad. But it's a lot of fun, like a lot of fun. And it could just be that I'm not used to playing it. So yeah, Dragnaros. That's that's my my pet name for it. I think it's cute. Yeah, you call it day one. Like if anyone ever tries to take that term, like I will hunt them down. Like no, <laughs> Nate, Nate said it day one. I was there. I was in the room. The voice call. <laughs> And then, Mike, it looks like I got a list from you. You've got a, a a rogue deck going on here. What is this? Oh, yeah. Um, we definitely need for you to get that soundboard. Oh, I know. So when we do this segment every week, um, I don't know if anybody here would know this rapper named Nelly. Um, he has an ad lib. Uh, he is, you know, he's like, hot shit. So yeah, I need yeah, you yeah. to have that, that sound bite when we come to my decks because this deck is definitely <laughs> garbage. <laughs> so um, like usual, trying to play something that's not meta, but I kind of took an odd rogue deck and then I just put a whole bunch of stuff in it that people in my Twitch streams get bothered by. And these are the <laughs> randoms that come through, not the, not the usuals, the ones who float in and out, kind of like the passerbys, you know, like, why are you playing that card? You should play this. So this deck definitely evolved from that conversation of whenever I got online and people were suggesting cards. So it was just kind of petty energy where I was just like, oh, you think that card is great? Good suggestion. And I was putting an entirely different card. So I ended up with this. <laughs> and throughout that, it was actually kind of fun because now I'm just discovering, you know, legendaries with dragon horse and legendaries I would never think of. And like the craziest insane combos where like I'm just having a lot of fun playing. And you know, if it gets down to it, we got the hero power, we can win. But um, I love that there's, random... there's a sphere of sapience yeah, in Odd Rogue. I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so discovering random cards uh, is pretty fun. But um, one of my favorite cards in this deck is um, Lotus Agents, because you can discover shaman cards. And there are some shaman cards when you like when you get, um, you know, like when you just get like a devolve, like out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Like when you just get like a shaman card, that like, like winning a game is fun, but like when you get to break your opponent's spirit, dude, like it is entirely <laughs> different. Like, like it is, is fucking awesome. Sorry, you know, but Taylor got me got me riled up. You know, I'm just you know, what I, mean, I didn't do just, anything. No, 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 because because you were dropping the you know because I said a curse Murgles. word. Nate, Nate's got the he's I'm got sorry. the Margo. He's gonna so. have so much fun editing. He's gonna. He might not. He he's might gonna just, hate you know us what? and never, never bring us put back. It, put it in the title, be like you know, mature audience only. Yeah, I might, just, I might just, I might just mark this a, one. Uh... Rated R, no kids allowed. And then you'll get more views because you know people are like that. <laughs> and then we'll get like, comments being like, "That was a rated R." <laughs> I heard this way in kindergarten, man. <laughs> <laughs> to um, to end this Can't part for me. Anyone. <clears throat> one of my favorite things. A uh, match I had, I have it written down right here. Lotus Agents. In one match, I discovered a um, an Electra Storm Surge. And then another card I discovered was a Swipe. So I got nice. to bust that out on my opponent out of nowhere. And they would obviously were, you, you know, don't eight and two. a recent opponent would like to be your friend. <laughs> what they say? Like, uh, I, I, nope, I didn't even. What? Didn't even, Those are the best. Uh, Come on. We just, no, you know it'd be trouble. Dude, you should have added. Uh, no, I didn't add one. We got a whole section in the Discord for salty ads. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, yeah, man. I, I got I've seen a couple that are pretty bad though, but mm. they can be yeah, bad, but they can also be pretty hilarious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but think about it: discovering Storm Surge and Swipe, and your opponent beat you with that, they would have been super pissed. So I was like, Yeah, nah. I'm sure, I'm oh, sure. Yeah. But like, you have to be. A d- yeah. 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 It was gonna be one of those you just discovered that RNG, you didn't deserve to win. I, I deserve to have fun because I was playing a fun deck. So Yeah, it was I was awesome. I loved it. <laughs> Sorry so, for winning. I yep. bet you felt good about that. Oh, look at my smile, I felt great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, speaking oh, of uh speaking of RNG, I'm gonna segue into our giveaway because we're sort oh, of snap? Yeah. So we're sort of at the at the towards the end of the show here 
Uh, I got a match to cast pretty soon, but we got some, we got a couple giveaways uh, by a couple. I mean, three plus Mike's doing one as well. So this is awesome. Um, what? So we got gifted a bundle from Blizzard, which is super cool. Got the, got the connection. Uh, yeah. And that's, that's pretty exciting. So we're giving away a bundle that way. And then doing some charity giveaways as well. It's really, it's super cool. And so if anybody is interested in, um, entering into a drawing for the bundles. Uh, the easiest way to, to do this is if you go to our website, it's born to be wild hs.com under the um, community tab, there's a drop down, and then there's a, a giveaway, uh, a link for giveaways and it'll show you how to enter. It's real easy to do. Uh, there's some community give back to the community there. It's pretty great. So I recommend that again, it's uh, born to be wild hs.com up in the top. There's a bunch of different, uh, tabs. If you click on the community community tab, there's a drop down, and uh, click the one that says giveaways. It'll teach you, or it'll it'll say what you need to do to get uh, entered into this drawing here. And then, a uh, big shout out to our community who are sponsoring two out of these three giveaways. It's really cool. And then, Mike, you got one as well. I don't know if you want to chat about that or or not, but it's up on your Twitter there. So. Super cool. Yeah, I want to I want to keep into in uh, Discord because um, we had a lot of different giveaways. So I just want to make sure I keep it all streamlined. So I will keep that conversation continued in uh, inside Discord. Rock and roll. All right, cool. Uh, so moving right along, we've got um, our weekly challenge. So every week we do a listener challenge. Typically, it's um, you know pull off some crazy combo, get lethal with some dumb card, uh, build a giant weapon, and so this past week. The challenge was to, um, God, what was it? It was, <laughs> it, it was, you had to get an ice lance. You it had to be zero mana and it was whoever got the biggest or the most damage, most spell damage ice lance. And so, uh, we have several people who participate in that challenge and a giant shout out here to our winner this week, Seth, who got a zero mana ice lance, 71 damage. Oh my. God. 71 God. damage. Damn. <laughs> My boy. Um God. yeah, yeah, look at I see on the screen there four Mozakis. I think there might be a fifth underneath the card. Um that's crazy. So, and I think that we I, I'm sitting here looking at the picture and it's like, "Oh, he's got zero mana left." And so if if he went face with it, all it would have done was frozen the opponent, not done any damage, which is kind of funny, but um it doesn't the spirit of the challenge he did it look at that 71 that's crazy so god damn my I boy know. that is crazy <laughs> and so uh I, yeah yeah, yeah. 30, 30, 37 beat my chest out yeah 37 yeah <laughs> <Look at this. laughs> 71 <laughs> i i would be interested to know how he that's managed crazy. to pull that off it must have been a turtle mage or something um getting getting because they're one ones uh, no, no, yeah. So he's got one, uh, a copy of Mozaki and then three additional 1 1 copies. So, yeah, yeah. Seth, uh, congrats, dude. So you're, you're the winner. So you clearly you get bragging rights for doing this. And we'll send you off a couple of packs of whatever type Real. you want. 71. But, that's crazy. That, yeah, Jesus. Like, that's like, yeah, that's pretty crazy. So, uh, yeah, what do y'all want to do for this week's challenge? I have been, it's been such a busy week at work for me that I haven't even had a chance to think about it. So Hydra's explain your challenge. Yeah, this is, okay. this is yeah. Hydra's, this is Hydra's challenge here. And <laughs> okay. So I, I, I got one here. Now I, I want to say, did nobody feel obligated to craft any cards uh, for the weekly challenge? If, if, if you don't want to, uh, this is all strictly for bragging rights and we give away a couple packs. So, you know, if you got the cards to do something, by all means, go ahead. But nobody feel obligated to craft anything. I don't want to be the guy who made you craft a card you didn't want. So, <laughs> but for, for this weekly challenge, I would like if someone out there could get lethal on themselves with the largest stone tusk boar. You have to hit your own face with a stone tusk boar. I don't, even, I don't even know how you could do that. Explain. So, no, I'm not explaining. I'm not going to explain because that's part <laughs> you have of the to, otherwise people are going to be so confused. 
Uh, so, no, 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 okay, never mind. Going. Hold on. Someone in mm. chat already figured it out. Yeah, well, we won't say, Maybe it's speak, more don't obvious. Speak, don't say anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's there, it, that's it. I will. There's more than one Need way. Need a better mouse. There's My mouse will drag that way. There's more than one way. There's more than one way to do it. There are several ways. Uh, Hi, Joe. I need a better mouse. My mouse doesn't drag that way. Damn. <laughs> that's a good challenge. Someone that's what they go buying things for. You have to get that mouse that targets your own face. Don't I go buying that. Mouse. You know what? The more I think of it, I can think. I can think of at least three ways right now. So I it's know. it's possible. <laughs> I'll tell you guys off oh, here. Seth, I just heard Seth. Someone just said Seth did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, and if if somebody does do it that quickly, that's why I. It would be nice. We can get the the screenshot with the biggest stone tusk bore that you get lethal on yourself <laughs> with. So if somebody completes it, where they had like a still a one attack stone tusk bore, you, you can up it with a two attack one. You know what I mean? So hey, there we go. Or a 500 attack one. Yeah, right. But you know what I mean? Um, so lethal on yourself with the biggest stone tusk for and just get a screenshot. We have uh, the contest entries page in our discord and that's where you can take your screenshot. Um, so I guess be quick with that print screen button. <laughs> <laughs> either yeah either that or uh it, between a screenshot or if you send us the link to an hs replay uh that would do the trick as well the deck tracker yeah so yeah so like hydra was saying the way that you if you want to participate in this listener challenge the way that it works is you you complete the challenge you either take a screenshot or you send us a link to the to the replay in hs replay if you you got to post it in our discord so the easiest way to find the discord is go to our website, born to be wild, hs.com. Uh, if you click the find us tab, uh, there's a link to where you can find us. Typically it's, this is our YouTube channel and this is our email, but there's a link to the discord. You join up the discord. There's uh, channels in the discord up towards the top. There's one called contest entries. You post it there. If you post it anywhere else, we're not going to see it. And so that's, that's the easiest place we can find it there. So yeah, I hope that anybody listening is interested in participating in that. It's it's just a fun way that we can interact with the com uh, with the community. If uh, whoever does this um, and and whoever wins, you get bragging rights, of course, and uh, we'll gift you a couple of packs on us of uh, whatever whatever type of packs you want. So yeah, it should be fun. I hope you guys do it. Uh, before we wrap up the show, I do want to say a quick thank you. Uh, a large quick thank you to our patrons, the patrons of our show, particularly Shokuna for being the executive producer of our show. We really appreciate everything you do for us and uh, for supporting the show. Uh, thank you to uh, our other patrons, Disruptor108, Claudette G, Daniel B, Justin M, Wildcard, Aramorn, Ben from Work, Corin J, and AJ Gomez. Thank you guys so much for supporting the show. We really appreciate your, your support there and uh, if anybody watching or listening is interested in supporting the show financially, you can visit our website at born to be wild hs.com. If you click the find us page, there is a link to our Patreon. We also have a bunch of merch on, on the website as well. There's a merch page, which, uh, with a bunch of t-shirts and, and hats and hoodies and stickers and posters and all kinds of stuff. Uh, Hydra is wearing a hat right now. It looks great. Um, <laughs> I've got a couple shirts. I, I really like that came out better than I ever thought that they would. And, uh, big thank you to Wildcard and his wife who uh, run that shop for us. And uh, it's... the shirts are really amazing. I love the material; so soft. You can wash them; it doesn't fall apart. When you put them in a dryer, take it out; it doesn't shrink. It's really great. Love it. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not joking at all. Like when I uh, when we were putting this stuff together, and I went through uh, three different vendors before we ended up using their company. And you know, I just looked online and I was like, "Hey, what are other podcasts?" You using and there's different vendors online and i didn't know them you know it's just joe schmo company and so at a lot of places you can order uh you can order like samples at cost and so i ordered three three or four different t-shirts from different places and they'd always come in the mail and like the logo's a weird size the color doesn't look good the shirt feels like steel wool it it it's too big it's too small it doesn't feel comfortable and i was getting so frustrated because like if it sucks, I don't want to sell it to anybody. And it's not like we make a bunch of money off of it. It's mostly because it's cool, but I didn't want to put out a bad product. Like if we're going to put our name on it, it should be good. And so 
Mm-hmm. Uh, he, I, I was frustrated. I think I put a tweet out or something like, Hey, does anybody have a good quality vendor that we could use to get some products done? And he, he texts me, he's like, uh, I don't know if you know, dude, but my wife runs a clothing company. It was at like an online clothing company. I was like, what? That's <laughs> cool. He's like, yeah, we can, we can do your stuff. And like, I got the samples. I was like, Oh my God, this is amazing. Like it's awesome. And so, yeah, yeah I've been ha- really happy with the the quality of it. Um, yeah, and, I'm not gonna uh, lie. I I totally checked out the shop a few weeks ago, and I was like, "Holy shit! I want all these clothes." <laughs> so I'm they, probably uh, maybe, probably gonna be buying a bunch of them soon because it's, it's like it's Canadian cute. Government. It's so cute. We got the toques. You can keep your head warm. Hey, there you go. They yeah, no, I, I like the tank tops and all that shit. And then I'm hoping like okay, so. I live in a very small city, but, you know, I'm kind of hopeful, like, maybe one day I'll, like, wear Born to be Wild out in public. Maybe someone will notice that plays Hearthstone, but I know that's a far reach. No, hey, you never know. You that, never know. That's, about, that's my dream. I'm, I'm going to be, like, out in public one day, like, holy shit, you play Hearthstone? I'm like, yeah, bro, I play Hearthstone, you play Hearthstone? And then we become friends, and then everything's great. There you go. I have a hat, <laughs> and uh, I have a hat with the Hearthstone logo. And I've had people ask me every once in a while, like, "Oh, you play Hearthstone?" Oh my god! Very, Speaking of the devil, mm-hmm. oh, like well, only maybe twice, twice in my whole life. But but I Alan, you know like, what? sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, 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 you didn't. What's up? What's up? <laughs> um. Okay. So, um, one day. <laughs> This is when me and Jeff were eating out at a Cracker Barrel right by my house, right? And I had a, uh, I forget, I think, I forget, like, which, like, event this jacket was from that I was wearing. But it was, like, a Hearthstone jacket, and it had, like, the Hearthstone, like, emblem, logo, whatever, like, on your, like, left side of the jacket, like, where it zipped up. And I had this old guy come up to me. And you know, like how the like Hearthstone stars, it kind of looks like a okay. Anyway, he was like, "Ma'am, are you from the sheriff's office?" <laughs> and I'm like, "What?" No, no, no. no <laughs> he no, thought no. he thought like the Hearthstone like logo star thing on my jacket was like a sheriff's <laughs> star. Badge or something, yeah, like like a badge. And I'm like, "What the fuck, old man?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, this is not what you think it is. I'm not from the sheriff's office. Thanks. (laughs) That's so awkward. Yeah, you tell him I'm the fun police. (laughs) (laughs) Like, sir, you're drunk. This is a cracker barrel. Please stop. (laughs) You should have said you were Sergeant Sally. (laughs) Who's Sergeant? Perfect. You're legendary. It's uh, yeah. That that was so. That was such a mean. It's like. I, I literally wear a Harson jacket. I don't want to be noticed in public because, like, I hate talking to people. That's funny. And this old guy comes up to me. Are you <laughs> with the sheriff's department? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good time. Hey, that's oh, cool to know. Man. You know, when we get you that, when you get some merch, you'll rock it in public, and uh, maybe you'll see a fan because you've been on the show twice. So it's like her. So I, think, like, I think three times, like, yeah. right? Oh, three times. Three? Oh, if you count, if you count the old show, I don't, I don't know. If you, I think you were on Into the Wild when we did that, right? Maybe I'm I don't know. Sure it's been a long it. time. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. It all combines. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> yeah, matter. yeah, yeah. So, um. Anyways, that's that's great stories. Hey, thank you so much for coming on the show. We we yeah, have I a great it. time. I, I had so much fun. Thanks, guys. Like, literally, I would be doing anything. Else. I'd just be like, queuing games on Hearthstone, and being sad. But instead. <laughs> <laughs> get to talk to you great guys so thanks <laughs> yeah, we appreciate you. yeah yeah i appreciate you donating your time and and hanging out with us and talking shop and it, yeah it's been an absolute blast and always uh speaking of donations i appreciate you donating your time and those subs <laughs> really glad you came on the show um i really hope you know um when, when things get tough you know you can reach out to one of us or we can reach out to you because you know yep. You're, I, consider, I consider you a, I consider you a strong friend. So everybody, make sure you check on your strong friends. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Taylor, for being on the show. It was a blast. 
Yeah, absolutely. Open invite anytime. And uh, yeah. Hey, where can people find you if they want to follow your content or, you know, interact with you online or lose to you on the ladder? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> um, okay. So I am on Twitter at Dr. Evil. That's L underscore H S. That's my Twitter. And it is also the same for my Twitter. So there you go. <laughs> nice. Nice. Very cool. Uh, hey, Hydra, where can people find you? Uh, you all can find me on Twitter and Twitch at Hydralisk underscore HS. And you can always find me in the Discord. We have a great community there. So I encourage everybody to check out the Discord. If you just want to talk uh, Hearthstone, all the different decks for all the classes, we got rooms for all that. And we just got general chat. There's a great community. So if you're looking for a group or a community just to interact with your fellow Wild Hearthstone players, our Discord is the place to be. Rock and roll. Mike, Mike, how about you? Where can people find you? All right. You guys can find me in the trap. You know what I'm saying? I'll be doing that thing. No, I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not like always, man. You guys can find me here, you know, Friday nights, 6 p.m. Pacific. Born to be Wild podcast. I had a blast once again. And you guys can find me on Twitch and Twitter at BlackRock double underscore. Went back to my old gamer tag. I guess in the meantime, Somebody else scooped up my gamer tag, so I had to drop two underscores. But you know, over time we'll grow the audience. You know, we'll get bigger, and then we'll just pressure this person and take my tag back. <laughs> oh, holla at your boy. <laughs> that's right. You can that's always right. pay him off, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to keep my money. It's my money. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right, you guys can find me on Twitter at Nate Wolf TCG. It's N A T E W O L F E T C G. Uh, more importantly, you can find the show and everything related at born to be wild hs.com. There you can find links to all of our podcasts, all of our old parody songs, um, to our YouTube videos and to the discord. And I agree with Hydra. I really encourage people to come hang out in the discord, check it out. Uh, there's a lot of really fun, uh, people to hang out with decks to share people to interact with and, and all that stuff. And it's really a wholesome community. Once in a blue moon, someone acts up and we we boot them out right away. So it's a pretty healthy place, and uh, and uh, yeah, no, it's been it's been uh, an absolute blast. Thank you guys for hanging out, Taylor. Again, thank you so much for for your time. It's always a lot of fun having you on. And yeah, I had um, a lot of fun. I'm so happy. Love having you on. And you, Taylor. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys can all join us next week. We have we'll have a special guest Dragon Rider on the show, and that'll be uh, a lot of fun. It'll be it'll be great hanging out. So hope to see you all Good next week. Gaming. That's right, and uh, yeah, see you all next week on a new episode of Born to Be Wild.